Hello, everybody. It is Monday. Um, for some reason, it doesn't want to capture my game at the moment. I'm going to see if I can troubleshoot that a little bit. Uh, I'm going to turn the music off in the meanwhile here. And uh, let me see. I had it. I swear I had it working literally just a minute ago here. I don't know why it's... Uh, don't know why it's doing this to me now. Like it literally was just working. All right, gonna see if it can uh, game capture any full screen application. Please work. There we go. All right, that'll work. That'll work for today. So we got the <laughs> hey, good day there, Penel. So I am going to be tackling the Soul of Origin mod pack. So this is a mod pack that expands heavily on the existing Origin mod, giving a whole lot of new origins, classes, all kinds of fun stuff, adds a bunch of stuff to the world. So in uh, this is sort of the alternative to Manhunt Mondays because I made the cho choice of streaming manhunts at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday. People have work, people have school, all that kind of stuff, so I'm not always going to have hunters available. So I think it's a pretty sweet plan B in that I will explore and try to beat the game in various mod packs that I come across. I'd be glad to take viewer suggestions in the Discord for that. Speaking of viewer suggestions, I have also set up a poll, which I'm going to be checking the results of here in a few minutes, for what my origin is actually going to be in this. There's a whole ton of different ones you can choose from. Like There's so many that I, did, I didn't think it was a reasonable use of the time to go through all of them on the stream, have people pick on stream, or even have me pick on stream, because, you know, decision paralysis. So I decided to put a poll up in my Discord and let my participants there choose both what my origin was going to be and what my job was going to be in this game. So I'm going to check that out in a minute. I've also noticed that I successfully hit the most recent goal here of 69 followers. Nice. Thank you to number 69, Raptor, actually a local that I know. Also, thank you to the other 68. You all are great. If, uh, I am still tempted to make every single one of you a VIP on here. I really should start doling out some VIP roles soon, though, because there's a lot of fantastic people that pop into this. I'm going to update that goal real quick to make a new one. Uh, end to that goal. Start new goal. Hopefully it'll fit the uh, existing one. I think 100 will be... The best thing. I won't mess around with my overlays too much here. Speaking of which, you'll notice there is a nice new overlay that I built in Minecraft and put up. Um, I'd gotten a lot of feedback on the existing overlay, the TV. It obscured a lot of stuff. It was a kind of a small screen as well. So this is much bigger, much less obscured, and I had fun making it. All right. Gonna update my goal. And, uh, oh, look, it automatically goes up on the screen. Perfect. So that will be ideal. As you can see, I have got, uh, I have got the chat box set up in the one spot. I've got my, uh, Alerts set up in the other spot. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to make the chat stay on there permanently. Maybe show more chat. I'll play around with that off stream, though. And, uh, Let's see how this poll is looking. I'm going to update the results here, get the freshest version of this. Okay. Somebody really, really wants me to play as the siren this time around, so it looks like that's how it's going to go. Now, in the event that uh, this combination produces a Minecraft that is either straight up unbeatable or frustrating to the point that I'm not having fun, I'll go and redo it, but with the second option. So second place, you know, still going to hang on to that data here because it might come into play. But for now, it looks like a very clear winner of Siren for the Origin. That one with 33.3% .3 of the vote. Uh, second place is Feline with 25% of the vote. Banshee, Avian, Knight, and Daemon all also 
on the poll there with smaller amounts of the vote. So let's find Siren. This is going to be interesting because uh, <laughs> Fire Instinct kills me and uh, the Nether is going to make... I'm, I'm going to see. I might have to figure out some uh, potions. I also... Okay, G is my active ability. Okay, okay. So yeah, Siren, of course... Um, you know, it says they have an ensnaring beauty and an evil nature, their irresistible beauty being the downfall of many a sailor. It is up to you to use this power to its full advantage. The Siren Song makes all mobs around you neutral until hit. That's pretty sweet. I use the G key to do that. So if I'm surrounded, getting jumped by mobs, I can use that. Um, can survive in water, swim with increased speed, regenerate in water. So being in water is ideal. Uh, we can survive on land just fine. It's, uh, we don't heal naturally, so I would need potions to heal land damage. That's, um, uh, uh, the water bucket's gonna come in handy, I think. And, um, uh, can regenerate, but take more damage from melee, and, uh, fire instant kills me. That's, that's gonna be a challenge. Also, water vision, placeholder. So I'm gonna select the siren. And then I had a, a secondary poll. I put them both together in the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we have what is my job going to be. So my class, rather. So there's, of course, a number of options here. In this case, the ones that got votes were Blacksmith, Cleric, Cook, Explorer, Warrior, and Archer. Now, let me just refresh this one more time to make sure. Yeah, we currently have a tie between Blacksmith and Cleric. So there's um, a good way to approach this. I, In case of ties, I have a random number generator ready to go. So if it gives me a 1, it's Blacksmith. If it gives me a 2, it's Cleric. So I'm going to roll that and see if... Oh, Cleric would actually be really handy as a Siren because of being able to make fire prot potions. <laughs> so let's see. It's a 2. All right, all I did was Google random number generator. There's one that embeds in the Google searches, so I use that. So number two is cleric. Now, again, if this combination is, hits a point where I'm clearly not beating it, I will do plan B as a feline blacksmith. So second place combination. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, ah, thank you very much there, uh, butt spot. Yeah, cleric, very useful, especially... When paired with uh, <laughs> when paired with Siren, extended potions doubles potion duration with water from a cauldron. I assume I use a bottle to put that in there, or do I? I'll fi I'll figure it out. And enchantment mastery that actually could come in handy too. Uh, yeah. So here we are. I am a Siren. I'm gonna hop in some water. I assume. I assume I won't run out of air down here. That's actually going to be kind of handy for mining under underwater caves. It's 1.18. So I'm letting the world generate a little bit while I check out the place. Oh, yeah. So I don't have Optifine with this one. It's apparently not compatible with this mod pack. Which uh, might mean the occasional frame rate hit. And to make up for the potential of challenges that this is going to bring to the table... I decided to enable the starter kit here. Give a bunch of random starter loot. Just a little bit of get me on my way. Because, uh, I mean, it's hard to tell what exactly was going to be thrown at me with that. I'm um, probably not going to do much with those pineapple seeds. Uh, yeah, I'll put that there for food for now. I don't need these seeds either. So, I'm noticing right away that there's rutabaga. And it tells me also how much hunger and how much saturation the food is. So, that's been clearly added as part of this mod pack. Kind of handy. I don't think the siren has any dietary restrictions. So, I am going to grab some meat. Well, I'm right here. And then I'll go off and see if I can find a village. Or, uh, other places of interest. Yeah, that was, uh, nobody saw that. That was a bad cow takedown. Let's have a good cow take- Wow. Cow take- Huh. 
I feel like that's not supposed to happen. I mean, sure, but uh, it's weird, right? All right, let's... Uh, I've actually got a little bit of wood to start off with. I've got an axe. That was a good little starter kit. Which direction do I want to go? Jungle can be kind of a slog, so I'm going to go away from the jungle. Definitely going to get that sugar cane, though. Enchanting is going to be so handy. Ooh, I'm fast. That's a fast swim. Let's go off in this direction, see if there's anything fun. I miss my, uh, I already missed my C button for, uh, for, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, zooming in. Wow, I really need to pay attention to words when I'm trying to make them come out. <gasps> uh, leak. Whoop. Did not mean to eat that damage there. I'm gonna have to take a little dip to regen that. Boop, boop. Decorating your home, okay. I wonder what I got that out of. I assume a lot of these crops are like some... Ah, yeah. Some of these, a lot of these crops are like in some of the mod packs where you can use them and cook them into stuff too. Breaking the grass so far looks like it's just giving the usual... Ooh. Ooh, okay. There's fruit on trees. This is, aside from looking at the options to transcribe them, this is a blind playthrough. Ooh, nectarine, yum. I mean, obviously I can't regen right now. I like that. I like that you don't got to break them to pick them. I assume it will regrow. You can grow nectarine trees, presumably. Well, that'll keep me going. Let's see if it's smart enough to not constantly drain my hunger while I'm slightly injured. I would hope so. <laughs> All right. Uh, my best work there. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to take a little dip, heal up. I think I'll probably be good for food, all things considered. Yes, look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to yam. Okay, I don't need all these seeds. I might, uh, I might work on a farm and hunt down some seeds at a later point in the game. But for now, I definitely do not need these. 20 different kinds of food. A bucket is going to be a big priority. Like, I'm probably going to have to waterlog the entire end. And that'll be interesting to see if this is one of those mod packs where they change the end. Kind of like the better Minecraft mod pack. Now, if I had gotten the Creeper Origin, apparently you are scared of uh, pumpkins... Which, uh, I don't know exactly how that plays out in game mechanics. Maybe you auto-run away from them. So that would be interesting. I might play around with some of the origins uh, as a bonus stream or off-stream just to see what they do. Like, see what some of the mechanics that were oddly described actually turned into. Okay, I see a structure. It's definitely not a standard Minecraft structure. I like that it tells me what everything is. I'm kind of liking how my overlay blends into the sky up there. I'm just noticing with the clouds that I caught in the picture. Kind of lines up. Ooh, more cane. That is, um... I have a feeling that is a fight over there. Oh, I'm feeling... Ooh. Oh, that is such a good... Sp Ooh, village. Okay, so I'll hit. I'm gonna peek over here. If mobs start coming at me, I'm gonna go to the village, and then I'll come back and see if I can take this place on. Obviously, <laughs> if it gets all fighty up in there, then I know it's a fight. I'm gonna have to get used to being able to swim forever. Eating my lesser foods. Oh yeah, and really, this would be an interesting one for a manhunt. Um, there's a bunch let me just take a quick look here wow that is cool looking i'm just gonna hang out in the water mods so there's addition additional additions uh adorn advanced net Ooh, advanced netherite more tiers of netherite okay amplified nether uh that'll be interesting new special apples and carrots apple skin Arcanus, 
architecture awesome dungeon axolotl item show the right oh okay that's a good quality of life thing better f3 Ooh, interesting cloth uh clumps exp orbs together some of these are decent fate a lot of these are just sort of back-end features by the looks of it adds crops oh interesting enchant giver Predefined enchantments to two. I wonder how that works. Extra origins. That's where a lot of these origins came from. We got fabric languages. I imagine some of this is just supporting stuff. Change the way you cut down trees. Okay. I'll check that out in a minute. Fiber. Uh, some of these are just mod supports. All eliminated mob votes. Okay. Looks like that means we get copper golems and such like that. Guild. Iceberg. Inventory. Krypton. Oh, yeah, a lot of it's support. A lot, it's a good mix of stuff that adds stuff and stuff that supports all that in the background. Lovely snails. Big snails. Okay. Dungeon weapons. Ooh, okay. Medieval origins. Okay. I'm one, 15, 15 new origins. Gee. So we got multiple add additional origins here. No wonder it was a wall. Mob catcher. Ooh. Pokemon, Mob, oh my god, three more, four more origin added? No wonder that pole was gigantic. Okay, Zoomer. Zoom button. Uh, might look into that. Uh, see if, oh, configure. Yeah, zoom transition. Where's the zoom button? Where does it say to bind it? Or is this just the configure? Maybe I got to go configure it in controls. I definitely want my zoom back. So I'll take a look at that in a moment. Origins. That's the actual origins. Adds classes. Your good pal. Mod compatibility. Yeah, okay. Some of these again. Replanter. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I like that feature. I wish that was standard Minecraft, actually. More structures. Uh... Roughly enough items. Okay. Sodium. Uh, stone. Underground villages. Yeah, I've run into that in a few mod packs. Waste stones. I've seen those in a few. Oh, nice. Okay, that's uh, that's appreciated. Wilder world. Uh, mini map. World map. You're in grave danger. Okay. Okay, not bad. Let me just take a quick look at the controls keybinds so obviously save hotbar act i don't know what that is all about but if i can find zoom that would be handy backpack backpack okay decrease zoom c now there was something else that had a c on it that i want to not no i don't want that i'll just use that i'm never going to use that feature but zoom being, uh, yeah, C, I think, is what I usually use. Okay, beauty. Dun, dun, back to game. Oh, wait, backpack one actually had a conflict as well. Controls. Let me just take a quick. I should have done some of this off stream. I didn't realize it was going to add so much. Ooh, thank you for the tip. Kip, click reset to blank it out. Yeah, let me see where the backpack guys are. Guild screen B. Oh, what's the conflict? Zoom. Yeah, I said something to be... I, I don't need to worry about that right now, but I do want to see what's... Activate power primary open ender pouch. E. I don't need to worry about that, I don't think. Some of these, I don't know what I'm doing with this. G H New Waypoint. Oh, that's also B. Right, 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 right. That makes sense. Uh yeah, I'll use that for now. Done, done, done. Well, I still don't have a backpack, but uh that's alright. I, I might have to actually make or get a backpack. And nothing's showing uh huh. Hay bales, okay. Yeah, I've always, uh, I've always used C, just I think because that's what uh, Optifine does it. What? 
What? Okay, this this is one of those. When I was doing better Minecraft, I found a lot of the loot tables were uh, were OP, and this seems. Oh. Okay, so I'm not alone in here. Oh, that's a zombie villager. Interesting. But yeah, so it looks like this is going to be one of those where some of the loot is definitely OP. This is, this is a nice place, actually. Oh, I hear you. Good God. Oh, I want all this. I'm definitely going to wear this. Whoops. That's the wrong skin. I gotta actually fix that. All right, give me give me a sec. I am going to fix that because that is a skin for a specific project, and I know it's going to seem uh, silly to just do the do this for the sake of changing my skin, but I have a specific skin I like to use when I am not recording one specific video. Give me a second here. Skins, switch it back to Krillin. Una what do you mean unable to? I probably got to quit Minecraft in order to activate the skin. There we go. Activated. Go back into the Soul of Origins. It's just going to take it a moment to load like 30 different mods. Uh, I think I added something. Yes, I did. I added. I did that last stream actually where I added um, the ability to name a mob. And then we also have no use that one for telling me to use a specific tool, banning an in game action. Uh, use your best item as custom stuff that I've added for points redemptions. All right. Okay, good. I see it's uh, capturing the thing again. I know what I'm doing. I don't actually know what I'm doing, but I have to tell the computer that I do. There we go. Oh, good. I didn't get to... That's better. That is much better. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Those are some slots. Huh. She's taking a moment to load again. Dang, okay. Huh. Classes? What? What? That's giving me a lot of slots for... What? Okay. Okay, there's some, there's some cool stuff in this. What do I want? Rope. That seems important. Glow sticks. Um, hello? Ooh, iron. That's handy. Okay. What is the, uh... Ah, oh, I should have done it somewhere darker. It, it, it makes light. It doesn't make light when you're holding it, but it makes light when you're placing it. Okay. What is going on in this place? Ooh, bread. More iron. Oh! Oh! Nope, 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 nope. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not equipped to fight this. Um, actually, now I can... Full iron? What are you doing in full iron, bud? Gotcha. I should block off those doors, so that way I can explore the place a little bit. Still hear you in there. Button does nothing. Huh. Ah, yeah, there we go. There's the other one. Because there's a few chests I want to explore in that... Ah, free pants. They're not in the best shape, but they're free pants. Ooh, actually. All right, give me some blocks for blocking. Now, where did they come from? Did they come from upstairs? I think they came from upstairs. There we go. Are there any other spots I got to block off? Well, we'll find out if I get jumped again. <laughs> It's uh, definitely... Oh yeah, they, they, they're not happy that I'm here in their lovely home taking all their shit. Uh, I'll take the coal. Death barter. What? Any idea what uh, death barter is? I have none whatsoever. Okay, that's a barrel of goodies. Do I want to try to fight my way upstairs? Now, before I go do any fighting whatsoever, I got to do a very important thing here. Yeah, I might regret that later. Oh, actually, just realizing... I'm sure I'll get more iron. 
Let's make a shield. Make this fight a little more takeable, huh? Uh, boop. Actually, that can go there. Utility slot there. That's enough organizing that for now. I'm gonna go get some... Oh, it's dark out! Awesome! Everything's gonna kill me. What the... Whoop. Beauty. <laughs> now I can actually regen! I don't have to wait. That's a weird spot for a door. Well, let's, uh, let's light this place up a little, so at least I have this as a safe area. Definitely noticing a little bit of frame rate hit here. Probably from, you know, being reliant on Optifine all this time. I heard that. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I can hit them. I'm hearing something up there. I'm gonna blow the rest of this axe. There's a few, a few of them up there, huh? This might not be a take this on in the nighttime thing. All right, can I? Did I just? I did. All right. It's all zombie villagers. Is there a spawner? Yeah, there is a spawner. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a little delay thing. He's in the cobweb. All right. That is Conjuration Essence. Okay. Oh. Why don't I just uh, light this guy up for now? And if I want to... Uh, if I want to golden apple myself some villagers later... Oh, look at that. Zombie villager, zombie villager spawner. Can't believe I didn't even have that in my hand, though. Another Conjuration. A Cog Crossbow. Interesting. Ooh, I got feedies, too. All right. Jeez, got some name tag. All right, I'll hang on to that. That in case anybody winds up redeeming uh, the name of mob. Now I'm equipped to actually handle that. I'll take the bread. Water protection. I have a feeling I don't need that one. I'll grab some string, though. Inventory's already starting to get a little out of hand. I'm gonna have to eat some of these lesser foods. I uh, got enough glow sticks to start a rave. Water protection, again. I don't know what death barter is, but it sounds interesting, so I'll keep that. Uh, but I'm not taking water prot. I draw the line at water protection. Given I am a being of water. Is this... Huh. This is a weird layout, huh? It's almost like a maze of mirrors. This is this is meant as a maze, I think. Okay. Not the hardest maze I've ever dealt with. Interesting. Ah. Okay. Whoop, whoop. I see. I'll just build. I'll just bridge it. easier here. That should be plenty. Light it up here. No uh, boss fight or anything like that waiting for me. Oh, not at the top anyway. Time to bang out some of these bad boys. Press the mute button on this real fast. What's in this one? Is that a witch? Uh, yeah. Not letting that happen. So, witch spawners. Nice. I mean, terrifying, but also neat that they did that. 13, 13, so I'm familiar with those songs. I've almost got a stack of rope. Depth meter. Okay, I can, I can kind of see. You know, if, um... Hmm. Oh, jeez. What is what are in you? A 
armor, a golden armored zombie spawner. Wonder, lectern. A valuable tool, create casting pattern, LLL. I don't know entirely. Oh, magic missile, I see. How do I... I'll, I'll hang on to that for now in case I figure out what's going on with that later. Chork pops. I see I see where all the food is stored. I'm just raiding the pantry here. Whoever <laughs> lives here is going to come home and be like, Again? Huh, cauldron water. It's labeled. Huh. Okay. Nothing in the fern eye. I might have to turn off auto jump before uh, muscle memory gets me killed. Yeah, uh, let's see. Options. Controls. Auto jump off. Yeah, don't like auto jump. Is there anything hiding behind that? No. Ah. Uh, hmm. Is that a trap or is that decorative? Because, uh, oh no, that, I mean, it would control the thing. You know what, screw it. Let me see what it does. It doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, it uh, juices these for some reason, which is another witch and another witch. Bookshelf. Ah. Lunge spell book, solar strike spell book. Magic Missile, Arcane, Arcane. I don't have the space to take all of these, but I imagine I'll find more structures like this. Heal spell might actually come in handy. Uh, interesting. Heal spell, lunge spell. A lot of these, a lot of the same. Discombobulate. I like that word. Probably just more of how to cast it if you're doing something that it hasn't told me how to do. This is interesting, though. This, uh, right here. Fortune 1. Nope. Well, if I'm getting Fortune 1, I'm getting it on an Iron Pickaxe, or better. And I don't have that right now. What is this get bad boy? 5-2. That's a beefy piece of chest armor. I'm gonna slap something on that. Unbreaking 3... Echo? Prot 2, Unbreaking 2, Thorns 1. That's actually beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha. That's going to keep my dumb ass alive. Magic Missile Spellbook, Enchanted Book, Death Barter 3. What is Death Barter? I'm going to have to look some of this stuff up off stream, I think. Nah, nah, I want to I go in. I want to do this as much a blind playthrough as possible, so I'm gonna look up as little as possible because there's a whole bunch of stuff that's new to me and i want to see what it's all about this just looks to be a dining area uh, jukebox nothing in the jukebox nothing in those doesn't seem to be any lootable containers i like i like the layout though i like that huh, nothing nothing hidden there Okay, this isn't... Ooh, hello, hello. I feel like these gents are judging me. And that's fair, because I am doing a little bit of B&E here. Ooh. Dream Warp, Solar Strike, Magic Missile. Dang. I sh... Okay. Water Prot, definitely don't need. Another Conjuration Essence. Don't know what those do, but I'll take it. Gold ingot, though. That's handy. Hmm. Hmm. I can get lots of those later. Empty map. Okay. Ooh, hello. Compass. Uh, more books. All right. So it had, uh, had a few decent bits of loot there. Uh... I should probably see if I can actually take that um, enchanting table with me. Because that would be a handy thing to not have to make. Unless it turns out the constituent parts are actually 
Not rare at all in this. Let's see. Ken Wooden pickaxe mine enchanting table. It's going pretty. Yes, it can. Okay. Nice. And I'll just restore your little setup there. So, yeah, that'll come in handy later. As will these. Get me a pile of books. Then I can make some bookshelves and get those high level enchants later. Actually, this means I don't have to carry around cane. This is uh, this is my cane replacer. <laughs> this wizard is gonna come home and be like, "What the heck happened? My whole library's gone." I think I got a stack in a bit, actually. Yeah, I overstacked on that. Uh, okay, I'll just. Oh, <laughs> it spreads them out single file. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, here you can. Oh, I can't store the can. Of course, it's books only. That's uh, that is kind of interesting. All right, all right. I don't need the rotten flesh. You. <laughs> Cute, handy. Yeah, this is honestly. There's there's a lot of cool stuff in this. I should take, I should take this too. Nice. Is there a crafting table on this floor? There's not, but I know there is on one of them. So, uh, yeah, well, that's actually the perfect amount of that. I'll grab a few of these ferni. Then I can smelt stuff up for the road. That's just a composter. Why is the composter there? Oh, probably to feed the zombies. Yeah, that makes sense. So they don't turn their attention elsewhere for food. Oh, I've already gone through all of this. Ooh, crafting table, right. I needed to... All right. Make one of these real quick, like. Uh... I don't really need to make books, so I... Why did I... <laughs> Why did I do that? I already had armor for there. Um, I'm good at this. Alright. Well, let's uh, put this down here as my next food slot, at least. Oh, yeah, I can uh, def... Oh, no, I already answered that chat question a while ago. I was about to explain that I could do use Zoom, but I'm pretty sure that has... I still hear them. Wonder if that means somebody's uh, spawned down. Oh, yeah, right, this guy. Are they dropping anything? Nah. That is gonna be interesting, actually. I mean, I need arrow for that to work. Cool tower. Cool tower. I'll have to keep an eye out for those. Good, good, good way to stock up on everything before heading out into the world. All right, now I think the village I want was over this way. You better believe I'm going to swim it. Look how fast I'm going. This is like faster than a boat. And I don't even need to go up for air ever, so I can uh, mine all kinds of goodies in those underwater caves that 1.18 likes to make. Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. Look at me go. Wee! I can grab a bit of iron from the iron golem, among other things in this village. Uh, yeah, I'll use that. I'll use that to stack up. <laughs> nice. The regen and the death to fire are going to be the biggest challenges here. Ooh. Okay, oh, yeah, obviously. There's definitely a few more uh, ch advancements in this one. Didn't mean to do that. Ah! That means I could actually grind out the stick trade a little bit. Not a bad idea. Get some arrows to go with that sweet crossbow that I found. Ah, uh, Mappy McMap face all up. Oh, sea lantern. Oceanographer! That's a... That's different. Hmm. Oh, it's just planks. I thought it was a... Steppy thingy. Uh, 
what is in here. Huh. Cats everywhere, of course. Um, I'm completely turned around, and I don't know what I've already explored and what I haven't. Oceanography table. That's new. I mean, it makes sense that the oceanographer would have an oceanography... Wait, wait, does that mean that's one that I haven't looted? Oh, there's no chest. Okay. Somebody already took the chest. And one of the villagers just robbing the other villagers. Uh, just some fellas hanging out there. Uh, interesting. I've already... I think that's all most of the village. It's not a big one. But... It does have a couple of good things in it. Gonna eat down these nectarines. And, yeah, I think that's the last of the uh, lesser food. Now I can chow down on bread. Alright. See, I just need... Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. Unless, unless these guys get buffed, that should be a good spot. Hey, buddy. Oh, cool, it shows his health. That's actually really handy. That gave me a few iron. Uh, let's see, I know water is imp I know a water bucket is real important. Uh, I made an axe. Iron pick. Yeah, I definitely need an iron pick out of this. I think that's the main reason to kill that guy. And I need wood. Thank you for the logs that I'm gonna rob you of. Meow. Oh, hey, there's another house. <laughs> I just wrecked their table. New layout, who dis? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm happy with how how it's looking so far. It uh, definitely blends into the gameplay a bit more, especially when I'm, say, looking up at the sky and, you know, you see the sky in game and you see the sky as part of my overlay. It, uh, it's pretty slick. Built it myself in Minecraft, in my, uh, in my offline practice world that I've got. Ah, oh, yeah, I bet. L little Trippy takes a moment to... Make sure that I didn't have, like, a transparent kind of overlay going on. I don't know if I've mined any stone yet. I should really get some basic stone tools here. And also get rid of that crap. I like how it turned out, though. I spent a whole bunch of time building and then lighting a nether portal, only to Photoshop out the purple anyway. So why did I light it? I don't know, but I leave it up as a functional nether portal in my practice world. Alright, alright, that should give me plenty of that for now. Now, do one of these folks have a crafting table in their house? I've gone to that chest like three times. I don't know, I'm missing a lot of these fellas. I should grab and relocate this um, arrow dealie. Yeah. That way I can get somebody to pick the job up nice and... Ah! Find or craft a villager workstation. Neat. Ha! Huh. I, uh, wonder if Buddy's stuck. Oh! Oh! Um... You good? What the heck? So he got in and he can't get out. Is kind of what I'm seeing here. He's just bobbing. That's Bob. His name's Bob. Okay, so yeah, for Origins, we wound up getting Siren. So, you know, I can do some singing stuff. I don't regenerate health from food or from anything other than healing potions when I'm on dry land. But I constantly regenerate when I'm in the water, which is handy. But uh, Fire Instinct kills me. And then we got Cleric as the... Ba as the class so I can make double potion duration and I'm better at enchanting which uh, honestly that is some useful stuff 
real useful, especially since I'm gonna need a lot of fire resistance potions to get through the nether. Yo, I'm sleeping in your bed, buddy. So yeah, we, uh, the, the poll came up, well, there was a bit of a t <laughs> I voted for neither of those things, yeah. So, um, Siren and Feline were the top two, uh, uh, origins, with Siren winning, Feline being in second place. Blacksmith and Cleric were tied for the job. So I had to do a uh, random number generator to pick one. I wonder if Buddy is out of that spot yet. I'm going to slap this down right here. And, uh, you know, a jobless villager will seek it out. They'll walk right up to it, and they will take a job. And then I will stick trade. And get some emeralds that way, which I can turn into arrows for this cog crossbow that I found. Ah, there's so little health left on the... Is that... Nope, okay. Of, co of course it wouldn't, of course it wouldn't, but I don't know. It looked like a name tag slot. I don't need the raw salmon. Because I've got uh, plenty of food. Maybe I will just hang out here and do a little bit of cooking. Well, I wait for a villager to come take that job. Boop. Boop. Yeah, and I don't know what Death Barter is yet. There's definitely a lot of new things I've never seen in Minecraft before. We're going to see real quick if I... Yeah, I have forgotten what I want to do with that iron for a third time. I'll get to the... Oh yeah, iron pick again. How many how many times am I gonna have this conversation? Ooh, that's bad. I, I don't got memory problems or anything. All right, yeah, iron pick is gonna come in real handy. Whoop, not iron pick axe. Although I can enchant it as well. I'll hang on to that for now. Avian, yeah, that was gonna be an interesting one too. Uh, there were a lot of interesting ones. And throughout the course of looking at what mods are in this mod pack, I found that there's four different ones that added additional uh, origins. Where are all the villagers at, huh? Uh, those are the ones with jobs. I know I saw some jobless bums congregating over here earlier. Are you going to tell me that not one of them is here now? Where, where have they gone? Ah, that's handy. Where have the villagers gone? Oh, this is a different one. Oh, boy, dried kelp. Yum. Is, uh... Is this a bum village? Like, what's going on? I think I'm gonna have to job rob somebody just to get them... Yeah. Alright, sorry, buddy. You're changing occupation. Where's he going? Where's he going? He's going, he's going to another one! Oh my god. Nope. Nope, you're... Shut that in my face, dick. <laughs> he's going to what I assume is the third one. No. No. He really wants that job. Okay. Now he is going to become a Fletcher. I don't need any of these, so I'm going to slap these down just wherever. This will be an oceanographer village. All right, buddy. And he has the stick trade. Which I need way more sticks to really take advantage of. All right. Got to cut down some wood. Because then I can get some... Uh, Emeralds, which I hopefully will be able to trade for arrows if he gets the arrow trade. I'm hoping he gets an arrow trade early on. What's over? Oh, it's just... Wait. Nope. Just normal stuff. Thought I saw something. Too bad this isn't a dark oak forest biome. Because uh, those have lots of good stuff. Ooh, that should cover me for stick trades for a bit. All right, buddy. I'm going to take all your pocket money for trees outside your own village that I just cut down. Am I the bad guy here? 
That gets him a level. And he has a bow, but no arrows. Ah. I'll do one more batch, and then I will uh, purchase that bow from him a couple of times, just so that way he levels up again. Are you wearing skulls? Then you're not the bad guy. I mean, this, for all I know, I can wear skulls in this one. Ah, bitch. Oh, wow, that, that that actually disappears fast. I like that. Don't need those. Actually, you know what? I will plant them some freshies. And I've already come over from that uh, bit of a wizard tower. Yeah, I'm noticing, I'm noticing that. Should be the same settings that I've been using for ButtSpot. Uh, maybe it's a chat number threshold or something. All right. All right, give me the goodies here. Oh, no, I'm going to need to buy a few of those. And I don't even need... Huh. I'll hang on to one for now, I guess. I'm definitely getting rid of that. Uh, decorating your home. Uh, it doesn't need to be taking up inventory space. I'm sure I can figure out how to decorate a home. Let's get a few more logs. I do want to see if I can get some arrows out of this guy before I proceed onward. It's just these trees are not the easiest trees to harvest. And there the tree goes. Give me the goods. And that is super fast. I love it. I wish I wish they already did that in Minecraft. That would be so much better than sitting waiting for like 20 minutes for a tree to come apart after you've cut out all the wood. And it's uh give me more tree drops. I'm gonna have to go through an oak forest and just cut it all down. Wow, I've actually eaten through a chunk of my iron axe. I gotta save that for killing stuff. So I think I might go make myself a wood axe. Uh, sorry, a stone axe. So that way I'm not completely shorting myself on combat capabilities later. Uh, oh yeah, I have tons of sticks. There we go. Nice stone axe. Oh! Oh, they, they have the same attack damage. That's Oh, it's just sl slightly slower? Huh. I thought they... I thought that... Oh, well. Interesting. How's my uh, how's my cooked goods going? Nice. I am not hurting for food. I'm gonna cook these sheep shanks, and I'll take that, and I'll take that. Where did um? Oh, he's probably doing villagey stuff. All right, let's uh, let's turn this into some sticks, and uh, sell this guy more sticks. Let's just make a boatload of sticks. Grind them out. He's uh, he's he's making me work for it, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that's where I killed the golem earlier. I'm gonna ditch that one. I can always buy another bow off of him. I have a bed. Uh, really, I'm not gonna go for leather boots. Looks like I could tower up a little. <laughs> Worth it. Alright. I'll get this one too, and then I'll see if I can get close enough that buying a few bows off him puts me into the next level. Nice. I wish you could trade these trees with somebody, the little saplings. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's cute. Well, oh, no, sorry. Don't run away from me, kitty. Uh, I thought there were some random chunks in it. It's like, why is it not... There we go. 
That's the good stuff. All right, let's uh, let's see if this guy will buy some more of these off of me. Huh. You tell him, Squidward. Pretty close, yeah. That's definitely going to tip me over. With uh, eight emeralds left to spend on arrows. Boop. I'll hang on to that for the moment. What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? Give me... Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Where's that? Where... Come back here, hat man. Come back. No arrows. Gosh darn it. That's annoying. <laughs> All right. Um, well, guess I'm taking this show on the road. I can always get some more emeralds at somewhere else, but I'm not going to sit here grinding this guy out to the level that he will actually cough up arrows. What I need to do is find another village. I'll take this with me and make my life easier. And I will... Jeez. I'm going to have to look into backpacks, because I noticed there's a backpack slot, because um, inventory is getting out of hand real fast. I'm just going to grab a little bit of tree for the road before I go off exploring this whole new world. Can I hit it from there? Yes, I can. Eh. That'll be enough. That'll be that'll be enough uh, wood for the road. All right, dude's just hanging out here. He's lost without his job block. It's like, buddy, you could go back being an oceanographer. Except game mechanics don't let that. Once you've uh, once you've traded with a villager once, it locks them into that job, even if they don't have their job block anymore. Uh, I don't think I'll grab food for a bit. I think I'm good. Oh, hello. I'm going to have to be real careful here so that I don't die in this lava instantly. Uh, I bet that would kill me instantly, too. The magma block, that would probably count as a fire damage. This is, uh... Ooh, it's actually looking like it's in good sh Pants. Three armor. Fire focus. What? What is... What? Snowball. What are the... What are these? Well, there's no obsidian in it, but I think I could easily finish that portal. Light it with a fire charge, go in and instantly die. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's way too early, but also... Man, I'm going to do some experimenting here. Whoop. Ooh, well, that's a convenient one. We'll see if magma blocks instant kill me. Boop. Set my... Yep! Aha! Okay. Ah! What? What? Oh! Oh! Okay! That's really cool! That's, uh... Now I wonder how I make that go away. Ooh. Okay. Oh my god! What? 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 Oh my god! Okay! All I did was hit M, and it did that. Oh, yeah, I, was, I wanted to delete. What am I doing here? Delete. Be gone. So, yeah, touching magma blocks also counts as fire damage. Instant kills me. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. But uh, that is a perfectly serviceable... Uh, yeah, I can I can definitely fix that. Um, first of all... Oh, good. Picking them up doesn't kill me, at least. I was gonna grab... Okay, Snowball. What does Snowball do? Um... I don't know. Maybe I gotta take a hit of damage and it shoots a Snowball at my enemy? Anyway, it's... Oh, big armor difference. But this is also oh, almost barely sticking together. I wish there. I wish these were boots. Instant fire death. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's going to be a challenge for sure. 
Alright, alright. So I don't know what Snowball does. But I don't really have anything to test it on. Actually, I wonder if I could uh, bait a mob into taking a quick swingy swing at me. She's dark in here. There's gotta be something clanking around, eh? Take some of that, though. Actually, I think I left some stuff behind in that uh, village chest. Like, uh, all my cooked lamb. And the, uh, the fuel I used to cook it. Ah. Interesting. Nothing spawning in here. I guess it's not dark enough. Why don't I nip on over to the village, though, real quick? Hey, donkey. I'm already lost. I'm already so turned around, I don't know where I'm going. But I think the village was uh, over that way, maybe? I should have noted those coordinates. What? Oh, no, it's just... I thought it was some sort of big green structure, and I was going to be like, what is that, a crashed spaceship? But it was not. Oh. Okay. Maybe it's up and over? Yeah, it's gotta be. There's a cat. And they tend to be near villages. Because they spawn in villages. Yeah, perfect. Get the rest of my stuff that I abandoned. I wonder if the regen from, like, golden apples counts as a potion effect. Yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of these seeds. Get rid of that. Uh, I'll just take this back. Couple free ingots. That's almost a third one, actually. Guess I can't just chuck that willy-nilly. Good God, my inventory is already getting kind of disgusting. Well... Oh, I've already forgotten where my bed is. <laughs> Instant death loop with the fire thing. Uh, <laughs> well, I wouldn't rule it out. Which direction did I wind up running off to? I could just... Yeah! I have a map! I'm sure I'm going to die a bunch in the nether. Who? uh... Flames would probably... Yeah, oh shit. Gasts... Gassed fireballs are going to be a problem. Blazes are going to be a problem. Blazes will one-shot me. Uh, I am 100% going to need fire resistance potions. Alright, so... I was, yeah, there's fire focus and soul bound. I assume soul bound means I keep it when I die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good thing to do. And fire focus, don't know what that means. I'm going to keep snowball pants on for now, though. Weird sentence. Uh, not sure what to do here, but I am going to start by seeing if I can't fix this uh, portal up. <sighs> this is dangerous as heck. I think this is the uh, safer side for me to try to do my business on. And really, I just need a few spots. Uh, I guess if I die, it drops a grave rather than putting all my stuff out. So I'm less likely to lose it to uh, lava damage, which is good. Make sure I don't accidentally dump water all over it here. I think that's already tall enough. Yeah, so I do like that. I'll do like that. Hmm, yeah, I gotta do like that too. Alright. I just need a spot. Why would I cut that? Why would I do that like that? I don't know. Hey, bit, that's my water bucket. 
Oh, yeah, right. It's on fire. Because la lava. <sighs> Can I make an emerald helmet? I'm going to try in a little bit. That's a uh, that's a good suggestion. All right. <laughs> that's uh Okay. Okay. <sighs> this is tense because uh, it'll instant kill me as well if I touch the lava. And now I just got to um, get up on that somehow. I'm going to need myself a little bit of height. Yeah, perfect. I should have... I should have made sure I had what I need before doing that. There we go. That should do what I want it to do. Yeah. I probably can make an emerald helmet. I mean, they've added a lot of stuff here. I'll give that... Actually, yeah, before... Did I take my craft... No, I left my crafting table. Of course I did. Almost. Ooh, okay. Calls other emeralds to me by chance. What? Well, you know, I don't have a helmet of any sort. That is kind of cool looking. Yeah, I was going to take a hit of damage, see if, uh, see if snowball pants did anything. Whoop, why did I just do that? So I'm going to hang out over here. Oh, grab. Oh, yeah. No, if I'm in trouble, I can just hop in the water. Smart. That's my frame. That's my framework burning up. Uh, actually, I don't need that. So I can make presumably all kinds of emerald armor. Netherite emerald ingot is the only thing it's suggesting, but given I just made a helmet, uh, are you sure? Uh, apple, apple set. What? That's cool. If I need to grind out apples later for, uh, say, golden apple recipe, I will be able to. I think I do okay off of... Yeah, now I was looking at that. Yeah, so there's netherite emerald gear. There's emerald gear... Wait, wait. Emerald... Yeah, emerald gear opulent. Okay, so there's emerald gear helmet, emerald gear chest plate. These are decent. Maybe I was a little too hasty in uh, not grinding out the stick trade. Yeah, because that's decent. Whoop. Ah, it auto fills it out if I've. Uh, I don't want that to be default filled in, though. Let's see if I can find somebody to smack me and see what snowfall, snowball does. Not a creeper. Is that a three pet? Wow, that's four creepers. That's definitely not what I was looking to do. That's creepers. Can I get a nice zombie? Um, or a skeleton? A skeleton might be the right call if Snowball does shoot a projectile to counter a projectile. Jeez. This is a mess. <laughs> okay. Everywhere I want that's in reach is Creeper City. I don't want to fight a ton of creepers. Because explosion damage counts as fire damage. I can't survive a creeper. That fires a snowball nearby enemy, cause the enemies to be stunned. Okay, so it just auto shoots? Oh no, 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 oh no. Oh, if it just auto shoots, I'm just gonna hop in the bed and uh, I'm gonna keep the snowball pants. All right, I should finish this before you know all the rest of my framework catches on fire. Huh? Oh yeah, that does that does touch me just enough to give me some juice. I'm not gonna be spending a lot of time in the Nether on this one, just to give you folks a heads up. I'm going to peek in, see what's what, and hopefully not get instant killed. 
No, wait, it's gotta be up one. Uh, there we go. There we go. Beauty. Grab up some of these. I should probably spend a little time just gathering blocks. Did I make the portal t Ooh, um... No, I think it's the right height. It's just wide. It, uh, looks off because it's wide, I think. And looky looky, got one of these guys. Boom. Okay, okay, so I'm not doing too bad. I'm modestly geared here. Let's uh, let's see if I can uh, take a little peek. Sometimes these nether portals, the abandoned ones, turn out somewhere good. So if that's the case, um, okay. Ah, uh, looks like a pretty standard nether. Um, not. Uh, of course, that's a ghast. It's real foggy here. Oh shite! No! Oh no, I don't have a way to set that on fire. Alright, I'm gonna have to... I might be in here a lot longer. No arrows. Ugh! Oh no. Oh no. Oh wait, I can just go back through. Not the, not the worst. But yeah, that instant killed me. All I gotta do is grab my grave and head back through. Oh! Okay. It still made a grave. It still made a grave. I don't know why it's on fire over here. <laughs> oh! Ah! Uh. Yeah, so this is why I was hoping Siren wouldn't win. Uh, I don't know if the snowball legs did anything, but I am just going to go ahead and ditch these because inventory space is getting a little out of hand. I don't even have the full array of usual tools because I don't have anywhere to put them. I'll grab that. Uh, backpack. See if there's a baby <laughs> backpack. Huh? Oh, that's an easy build. Okay, baby backpack, frayed backpack, plated backpack. Okay, you up... Okay, okay. So, uh... Look like an easy enough uh, crafting... Oh, I bet these guys get real big by the end. Endless backpack! Okay. Oh, yeah, I think that's gonna be where I stop... <laughs> But uh, at the very least, I can kill some cows and make a frayed backpack. I think that should be a priority, in fact. Because, um, yeah, all this. Okay, so I'm going to... Yeah, there is indeed a backpack slot. So I'm going to take that back. So nothing special in the nether that I went right in, but that's okay. I also, at some point, think I'm going to look into setting up my faithful uh, resource pack on here, because I'm... I like the look of it, really, is the only reason. Gotta get these boys, though. Save myself a little space there. But I need an inventory slot for the cow pieces. So let's let's go cow hunting. Uh, do I want to go cow hunting? Yeah, I, I need to do that first. And then if I want to go grind out the sticks just to get myself a few emerald pieces, like maybe emerald boots. I'm not sure about the emerald chest because this is pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, the hotkey is B. I um, looked at that a little bit earlier. All right, let's find me some cows. I thought I saw some. Thought I saw some a minute ago. That's a cow. Let's do that.
that then. If I hit the cow, will the snowballs finish it off? <laughs> nope, I uh, want the other piece of you that you drop. Uh, crap, what do I want to get rid of here? Alright, taking a gamble that I don't lose my bed, but uh, I can't just throw away all that good food. I might be able to craft the thing before too long anyway. It needs, what, like eight? Yeah, it needs eight. I thought I, I thought I took that off the map. Ah, it's the nether one. Okay. Right, right. So the latest death, when I delete it, it becomes a new latest. Five. All right, I'm learning. I'm learning. Cat. Uh, there's that village again. But if, uh, I bet that'd be a lot of fall. Oh, no, it wouldn't, actually. Let me check that out a little bit later. I uh, set the keybind for my siren ability, but I don't know if that's mob specific. Like, I have to be in combat with mobs for it to even activate, because I pressed it a few times. It hasn't done anything. So I'll have to wait till I'm uh, having a bit of a throwdown with some zombies or something to test that out. I'm pretty sure I set the hotkey for that correctly. Uh, seven. Still seven. How how did that whole cow not have any leather? Like your your whole outside is made of it, buddy. There we go. Nine. Okay. Overachiever. Well, I left a uh, crafting table at this village, so I'm gonna use that and make myself a backpack. Did why would a villager go take fall damage like that? You dummies. Huh. In retrospect, yeah, I'm gonna slap this down so Buddy can have his job back. Alright. So I have... I need a chest. So I make a chest. I surround it with leather. And I have a backpack. Oh, okay! That's, that's handy. And then I can presumably put that on my backpack slot. I press B to open it. Nice! It's not B to close it, but uh, that's that's okay. It only really needs to be to open it. Alright, so you can go in there, you can go in there, you can go in there. Uh, you're weird, I don't know what to do with you. I'll keep stuff that I can immediately use. Uh, I don't know what Death Barter is all about. Magic Missile. Oh my god, it's so much better. I'll definitely go on a journey to upgrade... Actually, no, I don't have enough yet. I definitely will be going through a whole journey to upgrade that, though. I wonder where... Yeah. Gonna get myself... Uh, I'll get some emerald boots, I think. So that ain't bad. So this is interesting so far. It's definitely not added anything that I've thought has been detrimental. Like uh, with the better Minecraft mod pack, there were some things that I thought was were worse. This doesn't seem to have any of that. What, what's your job? Oh yeah, leather, leather guy. Not the most useful. All right, so uh, let's whip up a few sticks. Where did my stick buddy go? Where has my stick buddy gone? Hello? Whoop. Wheat. I hear you. Oh, okay. Sure. He... Yeah. You're gonna need to go... You're gonna need to get back to your, uh, to your spot, huh, buddy? Let me grab a few of these, see if I can help him out. Why are you guys so dumb, huh? Good. There we go. 
I'll sleep through the night. He'll he'll make some fresh stick trade in the morning. I will make myself. Actually, that is plenty for emerald boots, so I'm gonna do that right now. Hmm. Okay. Opulent armor boots. Opulent armor. Emerald gear boots. Oh. Okay. So the emerald helmet was just in. Well, that's uh, not too much worse, actually, because I have all that. But I am going to sleep first. So only some of them you can make out of pure emeralds, and then some of it you got to mix it with some iron and a previous one. So that makes me think it is going to be an upgrade over the iron. But I have all the parts. Emerald gear boots. Opulent armor boots, huh? Not enough materials, my butt. Okay, let me... Nope. Wrong one. Emerald gear boots. Okay. Pretty straightforward. It might not like the shape... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Beauty. Beauty. Oh, yeah. I am... I'm looking good. Kinda. Ooh, net netherite emerald sword. Yeah, I'm not, not making that for a while. Pacifies Enderman. Dang, okay. Emerald carrot. Uh, can I make... Ah, oh, okay. Where are some carrots? Because that is... Interesting. He's not restocked yet. Uh, do they have any farmers in this village? Let me see if I can find some carrots, huh? Is that, is that all wheat? Yeah, that's pretty much all wheat. Okay, I want to see what an emerald carrot does. Melon. Carrots. Is it just pure? That That is annoying if it's just straight up pure wheat. Oh, come on. I'll have to keep an eye out for carrots in my journey. Because I bet emerald carrots are good. I bet they're better than golden carrots even. Emerald's harder to come by. Well, sort of. Alright, beauty. I should have cut down some trees while I was waiting. I get distracted easily. I'll do that now. Get a few more emeralds for the road. Now that I know I can make some cool, cool armor with it. Surprised there's not a version of that where I upgrade an iron helmet into, you know, matching the rest of this. But, uh... Hmm. Yeah, this will make this will make enough that I'll be happy with it. I'll grab some more wood on the road. There we go. I'll take eight of them. Taking this with me. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so I was heading in that direction. Too bad you can't move while you're on the map. I, mean, I guess you'd never be able to mitigate fall damage. Let's see what happens when I cut down this oak. I mean, like, when it does that, how many apples does it cough up? None. I have Just the three that I had from that starter chest. Oh, well. Eat. Eat. Hang on to that for now. Get myself a little wood for the road. Got my magic pants that shoot snowballs at enemies, apparently. I hear a skeleton. Kind of want to put this bad boy to the test. Alright. Do, do I need to take a hit, maybe? Oh! I pacified him! Okay, so I can use that uh, the siren ability. It just doesn't do anything special. Nice, look at this. He, he, he like, keeps forgetting. What? 
skeleton skull. To answer your question of, am, am I wearing a skull? I am now. Nice. It's cool that, cool that he dropped that, though. I wonder if I can make anything out of it. I'll check that out later. All right. So the uh, pants didn't really do anything. Oh, okay, not enough. Ah, there we go. I gotta have the bubbles to get the regen. Interesting. Good to know before I tried to rely on that in a bad spot. Can I turn the... Sk I can turn it into bone meal? Uh... Not any slots that I could really do anything. Dang, there's a few, huh? Well, if the skull is a source of bone meal, I'm just going to do that. I don't think there's anything else that I really need out of here. Guarding strike. Soulbound, fire focus. Yeah, I don't need that. I'll take guarding strike, though. Oh, and I got an arrow. I got an arrow. Nice. Means I can... Load up my cog crossbow. <laughs> yeah, that's going to come in handy at some point with that whole one arrow. Do I die if I stand on an underwater magma block? Let's find out. Let's do this for science. I'm just going to grab one that's not going to make lava go everywhere. Uh, I assume I will. Oh, nope. Just uh, do a little setup here. Uh, one more, just for good measure. There's the magma block. There's the underwater component. Yep. Oh, right, I'm over here. Right, I touched that. Oh, okay. So when you break a bed... It uh, kicks you back to the... Oh, no, wait. I think I slept in it to pass night. Never mind. Can't remember. I'll have to experiment with that, I think. That is kind of good to know. But yeah, I think it auto just kicks you back to where your previous bed was. That is, uh, that is good to know. <laughs> so, yeah... Underwater will underwater um, magma will definitely kill me instantly. Look, uh, fire prod is going to be the only way I'm getting through this. Kiwi crop. I've kind of blown all my levels on experimenting on death. Well, let's continue my magical journey here. Is that where I came from? Uh, I did do some swimming. Where was that crazy wizard tower? Oh, yeah, there's the wizard tower. So, no, this is definitely not where I came from. This is cool. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's go for a swim. swimming oh okay so it's only fast when I got the bubbles okay so it's not being in water specifically that does it it's um, the bubbles so if I'm Breathing underwater, that's when it all kicks in. That's good to know. Finally, I've eaten through the bread. Ooh, okay. Pepper crop. She's chugging a little bit, I imagine, as I'm generating a whole bunch of new world without Optifine. 
Hopefully it's not too choppy on the stream side of things, because, I mean, it's still a lot to throw at even a modern CPU. Dang, look at all these fellas. So, really, I need iron if I want to, uh, if I want to make that backpack bigger. Oh, hello! That is, uh, that is something I'm checking out. That sirens did the uh, siren thing didn't make me uh, charm the enemies to fight for my side. That would be pretty neat. Yeah, we have found a structure of some sort. Uh, yeah, that's a good spot for blocks. Yeah. Just rearranging my inventory a little bit. I think I might have to just main axes. I don't. Actually, no, no. Once I get bigger backpacks, I should be able to manage more of the usual. That is really cool looking. That is probably going to be several fights. <laughs> But, uh, A, I've got water right here. And B, I am slapping down a bed. Guess I have some regrets on, uh... I'm gonna wait till it's daytime so that I'm not fighting this in the worst possible way. I uh, got some regrets on chucking out that wool already. I'll have to keep an eye out, because if you can keep a series of beds, it's gonna make my life a lot easier. What have we... Oh, yep, definitely a fight. Neutralized. Whoop! Oh, yeah, I hear them upstairs. So that's looks like just armored zombie in that. Um, this looks all uh, cobwebby. I'm guessing it's meant to imply that it's abandoned. Ah, ha, ha. Where did I put my axe? All right. They're very armored. Oh, those are different looking. Le oh, dyed leather pants. <laughs> They're tied to look iron. That is so mean. Why would they do that? Oh, my God. All right. I will explore first and secure, and then loot the way back down. Red concrete. A lot of concrete in this construction. Okay, this one's not nearly as tall and winding as the wizard tower was. Just a couple of zombie spawners. Some chests. Ooh, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, I've got plenty of food for a while. I think I will leave the bread. Especially since I... Dang, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting emeralds, like, uh, I'm getting a lot of emeralds here. I wonder if that's the effect it says of the emerald armor. It calls other emeralds to you as if by chance. So I wonder if it just adds more emeralds to the loot table. I should do a full set of that, huh? Too bad I chucked out those iron leggings. Ooh, and this is red mystery chest place, chest plate. Interesting. All right. Looks like there's lots of slots for stuff I can fill. Let's see. I know there were some chests down below I want to check out. Where were the stairs back? Oh, there they are. What do we got? Bread. Bread. Not, uh, not, not exactly top tier loot. Uh, didn't get enough iron to do what I want to do with iron. And I can't remember which side of this I left my bed on. <laughs> I'll take this with me. And I'll just keep heading this way. That's pretty cool, though. That uh, that would be very welcome in a multiplayer server to just have a structure that looks like that. I like stuff like that. So somebody uh, somebody put a lot of time into at least building those structures once... 
for the uh, mod pack. Let's see. I'm just going to keep going this way and see what else I find. Make it mad at me as I continue <laughs> to generate terrain. I can hear... I can hear my fan going, but it's uh, maintaining a 65, which isn't bad. Yeah, you never realize at a glance how CPU intensive Minecraft actually is. Huh. I might explore this a little bit, actually. What's going to happen? I'm not going to die down here. As long as I'm in this water, there's no enemies that are going to get me. There's not really anything for me to get, either. Eh. Do I get Aqua Affinity? Those mine pretty pretty decently quickly, so I think I do, in fact, get Aqua Affinity out of this. Alright, that was going to just suck me in. Actually, um, unless I hit a magma block, yeah. I'm uh, taking care not to do that. Oh. <laughs> Speak of the devil. That is another ruined portal over there. I'm sure there'll be plenty... Ooh, and some sheep. So I can make a second bed and see if it does let me sort of fall back to my previous bed if I break the newest one. Where is that third white sheep? Get over here. I need to match three to make a bed. Unless this has added some multicolor bed recipes, which would be cool. I got a lot of lava there. This is a big boy. This is a big boy. And where's the chest? Where's the chest? Does this not have one? Kind of looking like this one doesn't have a chest. Boo. Hmm. What it lacks in chest, it makes up for in place for science. There's my, uh, there's my spawn. There is that. I'm going to make a second bed. I'm going to make uh, some wood and then make a second bed. And we are going to see what happens here. There, that is a second bed. So I've respawn point set, respawn point set. So I've touched both of these beds recently. So, of course, it should put me to the one... Yeah, so right now it puts me to that bed. If I break that bed, get my stuff, and does it? Nope, it puts me back to spawn. So I I must have accidentally, uh, yeah, I must have accidentally slept in a bed in that village and thought it was a fallback point. All right, well now I know how it works. Only got a thousand, a thousand blocks to travel. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. I know right where I'm going. And now I know for sure. Before I try to re rely on a mechanic I don't understand, that it uh, doesn't work like that. Which means I only really need to worry about carrying the one bed or two beds. Yeah. Two beds is probably not a bad idea. One, two set as a decent... No, wait, no. Never mind, I always get a... Oh, yeah, no. Two beds. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> I'm overthinking it by a fair bit here. Ooh, ooh, why would I... Why would I walk? Why walk when you are Aquaman? I'm actually liking... Aside from the fire damage situation, I'm liking Siren a lot more than I thought I was gonna. Ooh. Cleric hasn't really come into play. Oh wait, no, I probably probably how I got that really good enchanted chest off of a level one. Right. So yeah, cleric has come into play a little bit with the enchanting. I wonder surely uh having fire res keeps you from dying to fire damage, right? Like fire resistance potion, not not fire res armor, because we know it just reduces the damage. It doesn't stop the damage. Gonna have to experiment with that, I guess. Get a fire res potion, pop outside, set myself on fire, step on a magma block, just confirm how much the fire res actually does nullify. If it doesn't, I'm not sure how I'm beating this. 
And I'd have to actually make a respawn anchor. <laughs> At some point I'll need to start getting stuff together for potion making though. And I'm gonna need to kill Magma Slime, I think, to be able to make the fire resistance potion. So I'll get to fight something made of fire to become resistant to fire. That's a wow, this is really going through my food supplies here. Who would have thought going a thousand blocks? I'll just eat some stuff along the way. I'll just take a leak real quick. <laughs> Barely gave me any food. I should have been foraging the whole time. Can I jump? Oh, nope. Can't jump two blocks from it. <laughs> Wanted to see if I could. I just can't plant kiwi seeds. I'd have to stick them in crop... That makes sense. I, th I mean, it makes sense for most seeds. It's just where I'm seeing them in the wild. It's like, does it work that way? All right, time to delete some. Beauty. And I can create waypoints, which is going to be real useful. All right, so I guess this really has nothing for me here. I'm gonna, before I hit the road, whip up a quick iron axe. And by iron, I definitely mean stone. Uh, interesting that they're the same damage. Has that always been how Minecraft does? Is it? Yeah, it's getting dark. Well, I'm going to sleep in this one, and then I'm going to head onward. Oop, didn't mean to take damage off of that. Wait, is this? No, I definitely came from behind that way. Whee! <laughs> wow, th this, this, this friggin' rules, though. I kinda wanna do a manhunt where everybody's got an origin. I think that would be a hoot. I think I'd pick this one as an origin, though, for a manhunt. Just, uh... Based on, um... How much fire damage I tend to take in the nether anyway. When I'm doing a run. Like, I don't don't have the time in a manhunt to, uh... I guess, pig, I guess I'd have to prioritize piglin trades first. And count on the fire res potions that they drop. I, I could see how I could see how it'd be doable. Firebow OP! <laughs> oh my god! I would need to keep potions on me all the time. Like, I would constantly need fire res potions just to protect against that. That would be OP. My god. No. There we go. Second bed. But, uh, really, I'm not gonna die before I get to another spot that I can slap a bed down on. Probably. Coming into a new biome. I haven't seen any of the uh, 1.18 caves. I, this is a one. I should have double checked what version this mod pack is for. Ooh, thank you for the uh, for the redemption there. The bits. It's always appreciated. Firebow. Oh, that that actually. Origins would definitely add a whole new level of strategy to manhunts. Watch, can they do that? Well, that was not my best water bucket. That was slightly better, but uh, yeah, this heals me forever. It would be interesting because, of course, the hunter would have to hope the hunter or hunters would have to hope that um what is this would have to hope that they don't pick an origin where somebody else has sort of picked the origin that's the counter to it oh, oh, i've been in one of these before better minecraft had them so uh, looks real familiar 
It's basically just an... Yeah, fire aspect. A uh, flame bow, yeah. But can skeletons have flame bow? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a good price. That is a real good price. Oh, yoink. So, yeah. Goodbye. Hello. <laughs> ah, beauty. And I'll just leave those old ones behind. That's, uh... That's not bad. Guarding strike, whatever that... I should figure that out, too. I've already been in that one. These are, like, kind of like catacombs. A forest... What? What? That's cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, they've added some... They've definitely added a few new jobs. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, I've got the upgraded boots. I could make and possibly upgrade leggings from this, too, couldn't I? Uh. Mm. I haven't seen any value out of the snowball leggings yet. They haven't snowballed anything. But I'm just going to keep exploring for now, I think. Because I don't need to... I don't need to burn the resources on that stuff right away. Ooh. Okay. Uh, just in case it does amount to being enough. If you guys could have some... No, I don't need potato. They can! That's, uh... Interesting and terrifying. Oh, iron pickaxe. Well, I'll take the uh, free slight repair. What are you doing? I'm going to set my spawn here in case uh, one of those zombies I've been hearing decides to jump me. Uh. Okay, this is, this is interesting. What can I do with the rope? Oh, you can climb it, nice. Okay. You can probably clutch with it too, I'd imagine. I'll, I'll test that outside. That might be that might be nether clutch material right there, that rope. Huh. That's where things go more. I should light that. Oh! Oh no, 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 buddy, no. You could you could have I had to go for that job block, huh? You could have let me light it up first so that that the skele the zombie doesn't eat you. Ah, uh, villagers. Spruce trapdoor gardening table. Doesn't let me do anything. You wanna you wanna be a gardener, huh? You wanna be a gardener? Wow, you really don't want to be a gardener. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to beat the dragon. I. Probably will come back to it, you know, explore stuff. Honeycomb. Like, uh, I'm going to spend my time exploring this one. I'm probably not going to beat it on this stream. Uh, but um, beating the dragon is the challenge of Mod Pack Monday. Exploring and learning more about the mods is the adventure of Mod Pack Monday. As uh, campy as that might sound. Jeez, my inventory. Good God. <sighs> yeah, well, I am going to eat that. Oh, and I don't need those, that's for sure. All I did was give these villagers a little more space to live in. Were there any other bird off areas? No? Might be all there is. I like that there's underground villages, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, well, that's all there is. Well, got a few upgrades along the way. Like, I guess I should clarify in that I will be trying to beat the dragon, but that's definitely not it. <gasps> Whoop! <laughs> I should pay attention. <laughs> oh, I could have tested if I could clutch with rope there. There we go. Submerge myself a little. I definitely haven't been over this way because that is spectacular. Whee! This is amazing. A good idea. I will definitely have a drink of some water here. Always hydrate. Even even when somebody's not redeeming 
something to remind you to hydrate. Water is very important for the brain meats. Is that the same? No, that is the same one. Psh, I got that turned around. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is pure 1.18. Is that a dirt hut? Who lives in a dirt hut? Hello? Huh. What? Who, who lives here? There's gotta be someone nearby, right? It's not just a random hut. It, it's not for me, right? But that'd be weird. Out in the middle of nowhere, and there's just a house waiting for it. But, uh, what's the deal with the dirt hut? I'm gonna grab a little wood for the road and also expose this dirt hut a little bit more and maybe see if the uh, homeowner comes looking. Comes along now that they're able to access, access it a bit. I have too much crap. Way too much crap. That's why I gotta get that bigger back. Actually, I have enough iron to make the bigger backpack, don't I? Oh yeah, that should be my priority. Getting backpack big. Yeah, that'll give me a few minutes to kill while I wait to see if anybody shows up there hmm, at me. Do you have a crafting table? Yeah, you do have a crafting table. Beauty! Okay. So it's literally just iron in a backpack, eh? Oh, yeah. When I take my backpack off, it's probably going to yeet. No, it might, it, might, it might keep... Okay, we're going to learn. Can you keep your inventory in a backpack when you upgrade it? I sure hope so. Yes! Good. 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 That would have massively sucked if I wasn't able to do that. Alright, I'll put the skull in there for now. I can put that in there. I'm hanging on to the rope, because that's going to be just useful. I'll put the iron bars. Actually, I'm more likely to find iron bars. So I'll put the hay bales in there. Emergency wood. Oak saps. Nice. So next... Actually, I think I can already make the next level. Backpack. Gold backpack. Ooh, yeah. Now we're getting good. Now we're getting real good. What is the next level? After gold, there is bejeweled. Diamonds and emeralds. A little ways away from that one. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of netherite for that. But... That gives me a little more space to work with. I'll hang on to the stuff I can probably expect to find more of in the wild. Pork chop and steak are the same. Mutton is slightly worse, but I'll eat through the mutton. There we go. Spare axe can go in the spare axe hole. And she's getting dark. Nobody's showing up to sleep in this thing. Like surely by now, whoever if it was a villager assigned to this, they'd be they'd be AI pathing their way here. This interesting. Oh, we've definitely opened it up. Is this just a rando shelter? Okay. It's nicer than some of the player homes I've made. All right.
Well, looks like I just got word that a Manhunt Race plugin is now available. I'm going to grab that off stream later, and then we will be able to have competitive team manhunts. That uh, brings something fun and new to the table. We'll have to uh, maybe have <laughs> Mr. Silly and Crinnan be team captains and then draft players to them. Might be a good way to approach that. Um, but anyway, it basically means you can assign two teams, and each team has a compass that points towards the other team. And then the first team to take out the dragon would be the winner. In that one, of course, you would have multiple lives, but... Uh, you know, if you, if you get killed, you're still dropping your loot, which gives the other team a big advantage. So I've been uh, wanting to get that for a bit. So that way, when we have uh, manhunt days where we have big numbers, and like say, if I want to do Saturday competitions, especially for prizes, that gives me... Oh, this is huge. That gives me a lot of options. Kind of lit up like a torch... All right, let's uh, let's see what we got in here. I can I can swim around. I got infinite. Uh, I'm just gonna disarm that real quick. <laughs> oh, that would be so far to buy. Actually, no, it would be the mud hut. That wouldn't be too bad. Kind of hoping there's exposed iron up in here, but there don't seem to be. Where am I exposed iron at? Well. I love being able to explore these leisurely, though, these underwater caves. Like, that's cool. I uh, So even if I shift on it, um, not if I shift on it, if I take fire damage. So it, uh, like, if I take a tick of damage from it, I instant die. If I shift on it, I'm not taking the fire damage. Yeah. It's the fire tick that's the important part. But I also have no real need to interact with it at all. Like, there's nothing for me to gain, everything for me to lose. Ooh, lapis. Yeah, that'll come in handy. Ooh, there we go, some of that underwater iron. Yeah, let's get big. I'll be able to eventually make the pants to go along with this emerald, mostly emerald set. Emerald in this rando chest that I found that was su surprisingly OP for, like, the first chest that I opened. Yeah, if I sleep in a bed surrounded by magma bo blocks, I think that's that's it. That's an infinite death loop. Kind of want to try it, but maybe, like, in an, in a separate world, just set it up and see what happens. Might do that for funsies later, actually. We Those are some deep underwater sands. I love this. I <laughs> this is a feature I would like to have. Six thousand power level. Bre bed surrounded by magma blocks. Uh I think anything that traps me in a death loop on a run that I'm trying to take semi-serious would have to be expensive. And it's kind of rare to have a death loop in Minecraft at all. Hello, underwater brother. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Wah! Well, that was uh, that wasn't bad. I got four whole iron out of the deal. <laughs> oh, oh, water ravine. We okay. I'll take a water ravine. Give me that iron. Give me that iron, huh? Don't don't you float away on me, Mister. I'll go down there after I check the rest of this side of it. Yeah, I probably could immediately crouch and stay alive on that one, actually. I'd have to have my finger on the button when I respawn just to make sure. But uh, that's probably a way out of that. <laughs> oh, that's that's how far that goes, huh? Let's 
cool that I was able to just get there. <laughs> I'm not at risk of dying. There's no drowning ticks, which I like a lot out of this. Wait, was there something the other way? Nope. So not much of a ravine. Oh, hey! Hey, Dave, good to see you on here. Yeah, I am exploring some interesting origins here. So thanks to that community poll, I have Siren as an origin. It means I can charm monsters with my singing, but uh, fire damage just annihilates me. And I have infinite underwater breath, as well as I regen health when I'm underwater. But uh, one tick of fire damage, lit literally one tick of fire damage is instant death from any source. Actually, I don't need to be farming that right now. I'll come back to that later. See if I can pick up where I left off. Water ravines are a nice find. Ooh. Whoop. Not taking fall damage when I'm somewhere where I'd have to work to regen. Yeah, it's an interesting trade-off. I also can't regenerate health when I'm on the surface because I'm a water dweller. So... Having a full stomach, you usually regenerate health slowly. Eating certain foods, you regenerate health faster. I need to use potions to regenerate. This, uh... The doggo army, yeah. Haven't come across any doggos yet. I'm gonna real quick set my spawn here. Because this underwater elevator is gonna be a hazard. wonder if I can just, like... <laughs> Take it out immediately. Yes! I <laughs> disarmed it. Uh, okay. Alright. And uh, I'm gonna... Wait. Oh, it's through a block. Right, right, right. Soul sand for up. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, give you an idea. Actually, I might as well test if I can crouch. Oh, well, I know I can crouch on it. But yeah. Instant death. It doesn't matter what I have for armor or anything like that. It's just immediate death. But um, they did mod in a better death system. Rather than my stuff going everywhere like I'm a loot pinata, it just makes a grave. Tells me where the grave is. And uh, then I can delete that at my leisure after I've claimed my stuff. I'll tell you what I'm not doing is leaving that trap for myself. <laughs> All right, let's explore another underground village. They have quite... <laughs> I like that. I don't know what, what all's going on. Blueprint table. Okay, I wonder what kind of trades a villager with that job would have. Let's see if I can uh, find one. They're all... Huh. Under here, I hear them. Oh, there's, there's. Okay, one way door. That's interesting. Loyalty, sharpness too. I'm taking that. Critical hit as well. Uh, I don't know what critical hit is, but I'm um, definitely taking anything with sharpness. Make myself a nice axe. RRL building. We use pillars made of magical energy to keep the monsters out. Uh, <laughs> Arcane barrier. Okay, that's. I also appreciate the achievement I got. That's a nice touch. All kinds of spell books. Hmm. Well, we'll see what's down here further. Why would they have... Probably why I'm not finding any villagers anywhere. They got themselves this... Ooh, I'll take the patch up for my, for my pick. Always take the free repair. I'm hearing skeletons around here, though. But uh, this seems like a pretty safe spot for villagers to live. I already opened that one. I'll just put a few torches. Why can't I place a torch on the wall there? Nothing. Yeah, just slap a few torches and destroy those weird gated doors, and that gives them that much more bed to have access to. Yeah. Good news, everyone! More real estate is available for you. I don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, I think that's all the stuff that I... 
don't need right now. Not going to carry around my own kryptonite. That would be silly. What? Yeah, you can make a copper golem now. Is there, is that a copper golem spawn egg is an item, but not, uh, I imagine it's, you build it like you built copper apple, copper care, what? Those are weird looking shanks though. They're, they're, they're looking a little, uh, looking a little green. Does, um, uh, give me a second. Yeah, rotten flesh shanks is what they are. So copper, probably not a good thing to eat. Okay, so there's apple. Equipable in the face trinket slot. I'm going to look at that in a moment. There's a lapis apple. That seems to be, uh, well, it's uh, more, more food than uh, golden apple. Obsidian apple, yeah. Diamond apple, apple ju oh apple juice, iron apple, netherite apple, a coal what? Yeah, copper's the only one that looks like it. Uh, creative apple. Okay, it doesn't even show me how to make that. Looks like you can only get it in creative. Honeyed apple. Ooh, yum, yum. Sorry, now I'm just making myself hungry here. Pineapple pepperoni, yum! Oh crap! Why? Why are you doing that? Ooh, ooh, ooh! That that looks kind kind of good. Crap! This game's gonna make me hungry. Yeah, I don't know why Twitch is like that. I kind of want to make some of these apples though. See what they do. Blast furnace, cauldron of lava. Uh, don't know what I can really do with those blocks. Ah, huh. interesting. Some kind of energy system. All right. I'll just light a few things up. Give the villagers access to a little bit more real estate. They probably love me. Now, I'm going to check this side first. I've already checked this. Yeah, I wanted to see what villager does that. I friggin' love it. I mean, I understand that everybody's got their own preferences. Not everybody likes any specific given food. Personally, I don't feel like it's worth fighting people over because it's, you know, just your food choices. But I friggin' love it. You know, you get that bit of a tart sweetness that the pineapple brings to the table. It, it uh, provides a bit of a contrast to the savoriness of the meats, the sweet savory of the ham if you're doing the pineapple with ham. And then you just add on, um, you know, some jalapenos as well. That shit's delicious. I mean, you gotta like all those things anyway. But, like, you know, if, if you do, you're gonna like it, and it's just a fun internet joke to be all, pineapple doesn't go on pizza. It goes on some pizzas. It goes it goes on pizza. Anything, really, anything goes on pizza if you want to have it on your pizza. That's fair. Uh, pineapple is also one of the foods that digests you while you digest it. Like, it, uh, the bromelain in it breaks, it breaks it down. Like, if you eat too much pineapple, you're going to have a sore mouth for a while. Like, uh, that, sort, that sort of thing. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> So it also makes an excellent meat tenderizer, and um, if you have a cold, you can drink pineapple juice, and it'll help hasten it, which I should have tried just for science. Huh. Should have tried for science while I was fighting off the Rona. Uh, just more kitchen. Okay. Interesting. Don't know how I'm going to get a villager to go for that specific block. I might just take the block with me. And then I can slap it next to a villager and see what it gives. Yeah, here we go. Because it didn't seem like anybody was working there. Went on a surprising uh, side talk about pineapple on pizza for some reason. Nitwit. Oh, uh, oh, they're all cooks because of all the... Ah, uh, that's just... I'll take, I'm taking it with me. I'll find somebody. I do want to make some different apples, though. 
And then carrots are the same in that you make them, but with nuggets. I'm going to start collecting coal, because that seems easily grindable. Have I gone down this one? I think I've already gone down this one. Yep. All right. Well, they got a nice, uh, nice underground village here. I made it a little harder for them to get in. Uh, it's nighttime out, isn't it? Whoa, that was warp speed. Can I? Come on, turn day, turn day. Yeah, yeah. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Spider's just like I was angry, but now I don't know why. Is this is this not gonna huck? Is this not gonna huck snowballs at anybody? If so, I'm not keeping these. Ooh, another, another. Jeez. Yeah. Skele skeletons seem to drop. Uh, Yes, uh, I'm sure some, I'm sure there's got to be some fan-made RPGs that have done that, like indie things that have that mechanic, but yeah. All right, I'll tuck that away for now. Another skelly skull. Wow! Wow! Okay. That could have been worse. <laughs> Oh, game really just tried to assassinate me right there. Put me 3,000 blocks away from my shit. Destroyed my bed, too. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. I'm not regenning because of the thing. All right, well, I saw some water over there. I was having a moment like, why am I, why am I not healing? I got to eat this food. Duh. Now I'm healing. I wasn't hurt, I was just a little dried out. Oh my god, actually, um, it's a good thing I had my shield up when I did, because explosion damage is one of the things that I think instant kills you. Because it's technically fire. Tree butt to the butt, yeah. See, butt spot sometimes produces some gems. They're, they're butt gems, but they're gems. Alright. It really wants me to go to the jungle. I was trying to avoid jungle. But, uh, it's kind of seeming like it's the only way forward. There's not really anything I want in the jungle. The jungle temple loot is not the best. Um, there's no villages. Unless, uh, well, maybe the mod pack has improved that. I should, uh, not judge the jungle until I have explored it. I'll take this. Yeah. I'll take that bamboo. I can make scaffolding. And now I have a couple more arrows for my weird crossbow. So far, it's just looking like a standard jungle. Not really seeing anything uh, out of the ordinary here. I mean, I'm really just pushing through it more though that more so than exp wait 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 I did see something oh no it's a chicken I thought it was a white thing on the side of the tree and I was like what kind of pod is that but it was a chicken Oop. actually let's see where the water goes oh <laughs> I couldn't have hit couldn't have hit that jump a little better huh. Well, if I'm making coal apples, I'm going to get some coal. And miner's lung. Ooh. Explosion damage, pressure wave. Yeah, in real life. I mean, m most explosions tend to have fire as a component. So, sort of both, but definitely more of a pressure force damage. Whoop. Okay. 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 This is interesting. Guess uh, guess I'm caving. And it looks like this is going to be a lush cave, at least in part. So let's see if I can keep myself from getting uh, creepered. I don't have a bed here. I'm going to set a bed down next to where all that nice safe water is. 
So that way if I bite it here, I am not too far away and I'm not hopefully not in the death loop. Gonna need a new bed soon. Freaking creeper blowing up my bed. Ooh, okay, she's getting bigger. This is not the uh, most big sprawling 1.18 cave, but she's got some depth to her. I'm gonna come out into one of those great big areas. Also gonna make a coal apple and see if it gives me any deep any uh, buffs. Better not actually give me black lung or something like that, cause uh, that'd be funny, but also. <laughs> I got the uh, hunger shank. Yep. I'm gonna real quick set up a little bit of a safety zone. Ah! Don't know how I missed that. Keep them mobs from jumping me. Boop. Boop. Lots of iron that I'm seeing there. I'm definitely getting that. Coal apple is what happens when you don't set an oven timer. Ah, uh, yep. Yep. Alright. What was it going to make? I know it was... Holy cow, train of thought, right? I was going to make a coal apple. Okay, cool. Coal. Coal, coal, coal. It feeds you a lot, though. Like, look, look, at, look at it for... Like, it feeds you better than mutton. It's an apple and some coal. Okay, gives me give me some effects there. What kind of haste? Oh, oh. Okay, haste three. Look at look, 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 look at my hands go. Okay, it's a mining apple is what I'm getting from that. Uh, no other buffs, but look, at it filled me right up. That's a that's not bad. I'm definitely going to grind out some apples in a bit, I think. Definitely will be taking all the apples I can find. Oh, it's not long-lived, but it is handy. Okay. Kind of curious, even though it has the uh, bad shanks, the uh, rotten flesh shanks, I kind of want to see what copper apple does. Jeez, what am I? I'm going to toss that enchanted book in there. I'm going to toss that. Now, hang on to this so I remember I have it. I think is uh, going to be the play. Coal apple is meth. Yeah. I really got to take a break and also eat something because looking, looking at that pizza... That pizza recipe earlier kind of kind of made me hungry a little bit. No, no, no joking. It uh, that and some other food that I was looking at at the time. Oh yeah, when I typed apple and it was showing me the different kinds of apples and other stuff, right? Because that's how I got to pineapple. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna take a break at. Uh, I'll go to 4:30, I think, and then I'll take a break till 4:45. Just because i kind of into what I'm finding here right now. I've already been by this way. I think I'm... Why do I have 43 raw copper already? That's that's a lot of raw copper. That's too much raw copper. Did I really put my furnaces? Yeah, I did. I put them away. Alright, so i got to cook that. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for gifting the sub again. It's always, always appreciated. Helps give me more opportunity to do this and less opportunity to do office stuffs, which is also going to feed into all kinds of prizes and giveaways that I want to eventually do. Uh, I don't have... Oh, yeah, I do have raw foods. Okay. So then I will cook more copper in that. And I will... Raw beef. Nice. I am definitely going to be trying and making a copper apple while I'm here, the safety of my bed. That way, if it winds up killing me, then, you know, I'm not gone far. I could see what a golden... Wait. <clears throat> I, I didn't just do that. Getting my iron up. I can make an iron apple. I bet that one will give me all kinds of armor. 
probably. I wish it told me what they did. Apples and carrots, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, creative. Ooh, yeah. Making it rain gifted subs. That actually is uh, going to get me to a certain sub point threshold soon as well, which I think unlocks some more emotes, which is cool. Probably some other things too, but uh, fire apple. <laughs> oh, that, that honeyed apple, I think, is actually what made me hungry. Nether... That is still ridiculous. Look at the shanks on that. That's got to give you some buffs. Hmm. I wonder if there's other pizzas. Ooh, yeah, there are. Okay, so there's pizza. Supreme pizza. Dough, cheese, tomato, raw meat, olive, bell pepper, frying pan. A cheese pizza, which is simpler. And a pineapple pepperoni. What has... How's there not a... I mean, there's no regular pepperoni. It shows pepperonis on it, but... Where's the meat? Uh, at least this one. Pepperoni. Oh my god, you can actually make pepperoni. Oh my god. That's actually kind of amazing. Alright, let's see what a copper apple does. Well, it's, for some reason, going to make me hungry. Weakness? Oh, okay. Weakness. And spin. <laughs> speed 3. Okay, it makes me faster, but makes me weaker. So it's like a getaway apple. Okay. And the weakness doesn't last nearly as long as the speed boost does. Interesting. Well, that's actually a good shot of speed boost. I guess I won't rule out uh, copper apples after all. Let's just grab that for now. Yeah, so I'll hang on to some. Wonder if I wonder if you can make. <laughs> uh, it's all enchanted books, and then the enchanted golden apple, which the craft is not. Ah. Huh. You can make stuff. Oh, yeah. We were going to see if uh, I could wear an apple. I can. What? Can I wear... Can I wear -o an arrow? Can I just... Like... Okay, so the apple will go in it. Is it just... Uh, so a lot of stuff won't. But I can wear... I can wear an apple. Can I wear a steak? No? No? Can I wear a golden apple? No, I can just wear an apple on my face for some reason. I'll tuck that aside as an emergency food. Ah! Did it? I'm not really, uh... Not really noticing a difference here. There's one way to. Ah, oh, no, it won't let me. It won't let me equip it. I thought I could. Ah, uh... oh, yeah, the speed three wearing off is probably what happened there. That makes sense. Uh, well, you know what? Oh, I can keep. I can store a stack of apples. I can. Okay, I can just store apples in my face. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um. I, I'll take it. That's an inventory slot, essentially. For apples, specifically, for some reason. It's weird, but uh, I'll take it. Alright. <laughs> I'm just going to check it over here before I check out where I saw that iron. Because this is sort of the safe zone. Huh. I think I get brightness in vision when I'm underwater. Just secure this section. Gonna get me some of the goods. Can't believe I can just eat an apple that's been coated in multiple lumps of coal. And it's all positive effects. Like, there's nothing detrimental to doing that. It's uh, so weird. <laughs> ah, yeah, Minecraft, but there's toilets. 
Minecraft manhunt, but we have to use the toilet every five minutes. Oh, it's raining. Good, I can I can get some. I wonder if I wonder if being under rain gives me anything. I don't think it does. I think I gotta be in the water. Too bad that didn't uh, give me something. But it's gotta be. It's by the looks of the things, it's gotta be the bubble effect that triggers my uh, my special abilities. Huh. All right, let's uh, let's get some more of that iron while I'm here. Ooh. Okay, bit of a cave up there. Let's hop up and, uh, at the very least, secure it so I don't have, say, creeper, witch, uh, I don't have stuff like that sneaking up on me later, dropping on my head. So that's, uh, that's bad. That creeper could one-shot me. What with the fire weakness? Uh... Hmm. I wonder if I can just... I should eat a copper apple and run for it. Just run through, slapping uh, torches everywhere. If I get blown up, uh, hopefully I'm in the process of escaping when that happens. Alright, well, that uh, that gives me a little bit of a buffer zone. Ooh, yeah, it's definitely a lush cave down here. This, I want this, I want this, I want this. I gotta remember to actually take my break at 4.30 here and not just get distracted doing this and play this for another hour and then be like, why am I so hungry and need to use the bathroom? Ooh, yeah, that's a good shot. Ooh, yeah, it keeps going, okay. Give me the goods. I can make, uh, I'll be able to switch these pants out. I'll save these pants for the nether, but I'll be able to switch them out for the matching emerald set. And then I'll compare the emerald armor to this one and see if there's one that's notably better. Because right now I got some good enchantments on that armor and I don't want to get rid of it. But, you know, matching set might be nice. definitely added some cool stuff to the game above and beyond origin stuff like there's just like origins is just where you come from that doesn't tell say anything about suddenly being able to craft things out of materials that you could never craft things out of i bet you can make obs obsidian gear all right i'm gonna head back here now that i've uh, sort of secured my flank on that side Oh, uh, yeah. This cave sure is lush. And she goes down for a ways, too. I'm definitely going to get lost trying to find my way back out. Oh, there you are. I knew there was a mob hanging out here somewhere. And now it's dead. could go on for a while. I just want to secure an area so I can explore a bit. Get all this iron. Enough to have at least iron level gear and iron apples, depending on what iron apples do. Might be worth loading up on. I think, yeah, I think I came in through that way. Little spot up there, though, that, um, I bet mobs will drop on me from. No! <laughs> That's right. They, uh, they, I should have been quick footed on that. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Good God. This just goes on. It's, uh, this is, this is a real windy one, huh? Cripes. All right, well, I am going to face this way so I know which way I'm going. I'm going to take a break. I need one. I need to eat and all that fun stuff. I'm going to throw up my break screen, which I haven't revised my break screen or anything like that. Really, it's just been the uh, 
the overlays. Did I just accidentally? I just accidentally bumped my overlay a little. Give me a second. I'll just nudge that back up. Switch to my switch to my break. Throw up the peg step jazz arrangement by Insane in the Rain Music. I will be back at 4:45, so 15 minutes from now. Extended break. Yeah, here we go. Enjoy these smooth tunes.
Actually realizing this is a six minute song, so I feel like that's probably close enough to my target break time. I'll uh, stop, pause it here before it gets going real good. I'm going to switch things up, take a minute or two before I get too far into it. Uh, for folks just tuning in, though, I'm doing a bit of exploration of the Soul of Origins mod pack. Bit of an expansion on the standard Origins mod pack. Adds a ton more Origins, adds uh, a bunch of classes and stuff as well. So I used a community poll in the Discord. Just going to drop a quick... Discord command in the uh, chat here, but a uh, bit of a community poll to determine what my origin should be. Um, Siren one, which uh, means that um, well, I can I can charm some mobs into not being hostile. I can swim faster, regenerate faster. Basically, being in water is fantastic. I can't regenerate from food or any sort of natural regeneration well on land. Getting hit in melee hurts me more. And any fire damage, even just a tick of fire damage, instant kills me. And then the cleric was the class that was selected. Well, actually, cleric and blacksmith were tied, and so I did random number generator, and it came up cleric. Which means I can make potions double duration, and I'm better at enchanting. Which actually, the double duration potions is what's going to get me through the nether because of the instant kill fire damage. So resuming here now, I'm just going to pop back in. I was doing a bit of cave exploration, uh, eating some weird apples, you know, all that fun stuff. Oh, I definitely need to make more of these. I should also put my shield in my hand before a creeper walks up. And I'm forced to block or get instantly killed. Because explosions count as fire damage. As demonstrated when I was in the nether and got one shot by a ghast. So yeah, I got a nice little shot of iron. See if I can figure out where I came from. Yeah, this was sort of an... Uh, side path actually uh, I'll see a little further how it goes if it's if it's more branches down here though I'm just turning it that's that's more branches and more under there oh no actually they uh, loop so it's one branch with the illusion of choice and doesn't really go anywhere all right I'll just light it up keep the mobs off me and then there's this which is more the same, you know, all that lush cave. Gonna quick do a little bit of repair work here. Glad I pocketed that extra iron pick earlier. I'm sure the villager who I stole it from didn't need didn't need an iron pick. It's like, come on, who needs iron pick? Vines, okay. Just vines hanging out down here. Getting a boatload of iron, because you can make iron apples. Similar to golden apples, but... Different effects, I would imagine. I haven't eaten one yet. And you can make uh, coal apples and <laughs> copper apples and all kinds of materials. Likewise, you can do the same thing but for carrots, making nuggets out of different stuff. So you can make emerald nuggets now. And I'm interested in seeing if the emerald carrots are just different levels of feeding you or if uh, the, the carrots will also give you buffs. All right, so I was uh, checking out a bit of this. Trying to keep a bit conscious of where I am so that I don't lose my way back. Because if I get a dig straight up, it's going to be a lot less fun. Granite. See if I can reach that. Yeah, give me that iron. So I know down here is just more of... Oh, yeah, we're in deep slate now. Ah! Hello? I didn't even have to hit him. I mean, I'm gonna now. 
Nice, I got a pearl. This is the only situation I would ever need to make a boat. Because I swim real good. I can also make a lapis apple and see what that does. I wonder I wonder if it's gonna give me like buffs. Is it gonna randomly enchant my gear? What's uh what's ah <laughs> wait 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 Okay So it's still the standard look but that is the color of them anyway so that could just be as intended. I'm gonna give him a little uh yeah waterfall playground kind of thing there. They are so freaking cute. What? Oh dang! This this keeps going. Do I? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Frig! This is a uh, this is quite the 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 cave system. Starting to get a little hard to mentally keep track of, but, uh, well, the, the interest of getting diamonds encourages me to keep going. Do I still have plenty of iron for a replacement pick? Dang, this is... This is quite expansive. It's not like one of those great big huge caverns that look amazing, but, you know, it's definitely quite the uh, mental journey to keep track of this stuff. Uh, no mobs. Oh, redstone. I was like, wait, I had a moment of, is that rubies? Because some mod packs like to add ruby ore and all kinds of stuff like that to add more layers of things to create. So, you know, not out of the question for it to be rubies. And that's a whole ass block of raw iron. I'll take that. Yeah. Dang. Okay, I think I'm probably getting pretty good in this. Unless iron apples are ridiculous and I want a ton of them. They might be. What's my... Ooh. Ooh, okay. I like, I like the look of this. I wish I could keep uh, the FPS up all the time. I like having those stats. But uh, that looks way better than the stock one. That is like smooth. Ah, uh, yeah. Going back. Light it up a little more. I think I'm good on iron for a bit. At least until I do. Oh, yeah, I hear zombie. Okay. Sucks to be you, cause I am immortal in this waterfall. Actually, I shouldn't get cocky here. Since I take increased melee damage. What? Ah, tropical fish. But that, that makes sense for them to be there. Ah, suckers. Do I really get a nip where they're coming from? Oh, wait. Yeah. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> uh, I wish it played a sound effect for the siren song, but uh, I just charmed that skeleton with my siren song. Oh, zombies! No! Oh, wait. my I think my pants went off. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. They they Because I used my siren ability, they're not angry at me. That's cool. Oh, oh, it wears off. Does it have a cooldown? Well, guess we know where that goes. I should probably deal with them. Um, 
buffalo squid. Good god. Oh, hey! Another Enderman! Oh, hey, cool! I wonder if I can make anything out of amethyst in this. Get anything? Nada. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any, uh... Oh, I should know how to spell amethyst, first of all. No, amethyst apple, uh... Just... Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not gonna... Ooh, gold, I'll take that. <laughs> right, right, right. Get out of that. Um, inventory's starting to get a little, a uh, little out of hand here. I can tuck my pearls in there. Good God! I actually can tuck the string in there too. Uh, I don't need tropical fish. I'll just turn this into that. I definitely gotta take the gold. Gonna need that for piglin trading and making. Uh, Golden apples. Jeez, this this keeps going. How am I finding my way out of here? Well, I know how to get to there. I'm going to keep exploring this a little further. I don't know. I hear lava. This keeps going. <sighs> oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I also need to heal myself here, so I'm going to... Just walk into the... Yeah, just hang out. Get the regen. Get rehydrated. Yeah. This is not... Whoa! I just heard a burp. Why did I just hear a burp? I haven't eaten anything. All right, I'm going to retrace my steps, I think. Was I up through that way? I might be a wee bit lost. I'll get this, though. You know what? I should have used that map and put a little marker on where I left my bed. <laughs> oh yeah yeah that was I did come down here oh I hear another uh, enderman another tall boy Could have been part Enderman. That was one of the options. Don't think I could have uh, handled not being able to touch water, though. That is a serious disadvantage. Like, what do I do if I go to the end, to the uh, stronghold, and the stronghold is underwater? Like, how do I even mitigate that? I don't know which way I'm going, but I think this is the right way. Yeah, this is kind of feeling familiar. I mean, that would absolutely mess mess up a run, though. Uh, and you wouldn't even know until way late into the run that it's like, oh crap, the entire thing's underwater. This is not easily winnable. Alright, time to put on my cooking fern eye. 
and start cooking up some goods. You go here, you go here, you go here, and this lone gold goes there, because that way it's one stack instead of two. That'll probably be enough. Ah, yeah, I mathed that out wrong. Beauty. Alright, so four... I actually only have two apples. I'm going to need to get some apples, so I'll be going to the surface soon. This will probably get me some better paint. What's hand? Like, I don't understand. Hmm. I mean, maybe you can get gloves. Ah, uh, yeah, you can. Grant, what? What? Oh, that's, uh, that's expensive. So, you can totally get gloves, though. That's good to know. Alright, so... I was gonna make some leggings. Actually, I don't need this if I can use the side thing. So start off with a nice pair of iron leggings. And then I will just go to make... Uh, where where are they? Emerald... No, that's opulent. Which is... Okay, upgrade core plus the emerald gear. Thrives in the presence of emeralds. Huh. Okay. Uh... Emerald gear boots, emerald gear leggings. Five armor. That's that's uh, that's pretty decent. Like versus three armor and a snowball that sometimes happens. Five armor, two armor toughness, plus five percent attack speed. And I hear a zombie or something. Maybe a baby zombie walking around. Just have to stay alert. Let's just see what all kinds of leggings we got here. So we got the usual. Diamond, golden, netherite, rose gold. Um, what? What? Do piglins, piglins like rose gold? That's just a copper ingot and golden leggings. Okay. Gilded netherite. Netherite plus a gold ring. Netherite plus netherite iron. Good God. <laughs> uh, netherite gold. Seven armor. Dang. Look, dang. These keep getting... Netherite emerald. Pacifies enderman. Ooh. Oh, okay. They keep getting better. Oh, it's an upgrade chain. Okay. Okay. Um, There's actually a ton of different kinds of leggings here. What the heck? Archer's pants. Okay, yeah, there's uh, there's chains on chains on chains of upgrades in this thing. All right, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Rose gold. I mean, it's gonna erase the enchantment, right? What? I mean, that was. Just out of curiosity here. Yeah, just golden leggings. Oh, smithing table. <laughs> oh, okay, actually. <clears throat> that would be a blingy, that would be a blingy smithing table there. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look. Rose gold is now on my radar. What the heck? That's actually way better than it was before. Uh, yeah, so rose gold, rose gold, rose gold, nothing. Rose gold sword, seven damage, nine, it's still nine attack damage. I uh, wonder what the rose gold pick brings to the table. It ain't bad. I'm going to do that. Golden roses. Okay. 
I just learned a new recipe. All right. Wonder what happens if I just search gold. There's rose gold, and there's uh, netherite gold, golden piglin, ooh, uh, piglin chestplate, and golden upgrade core. Huh. Well, okay. Interesting. What the heck? Dual what? Prospector 1. There's some rabbit holes to go down in this mod pack. But I do want to see if... Uh... That's a weird... I will want to see at some point if the uh, emerald iron gear is better than this, but that enchantment means this is going to be giving me some usage for a while. Actually, you know what? Why don't I just... Uh... So it's... Uh... It's going to make a quick, quick tank top. And I'm going to make an emerald gear chest plate. That's, uh, that's not bad, actually. 8 armor, 7 armor, 2 armor toughness, and uh, some sort of effect of emeralds, so it's close. If I can get some decent enchantment on this one, I'll swap it. For now, I'm just going to store it, because what else am I going to do with it? Snowball, I'm going to count on piglins being okay with this. Switch my axe out. I imagine piglins will probably be okay with that. Alright, yeah. I'll take this with me for now. Might do some experimenting with the rose gold stuff later as well. Yeah, well actually, why don't I, real quick, make this... Need some sticks first. I'm gonna make a rose gold pickaxe for later. After I just mined the thing. Good job, good job. More use of the smithing table, though. I like that. So yeah, this plus... Okay, that doesn't make anything. That doesn't make, like, double gold. That would have been cool. Yeah, rose gold pickaxe. Not sure if it's any, uh, any faster. Oh, yeah, it's definitely faster. Uh, not sure on longevity, though. I'd need to see if it can mine gold and if it can mine diamonds to know if it's really worth keeping this around. But I uh, kind of feel like it probably can. I'd have to see. Like, why, why would they give you an upgrade path like that and then have it still be, like, as crappy as gold? If that's the case, I'm depending on how well it holds up as well, I might replace some of my gear with rose gold gear. Or emerald gear. All right. So it's daytime out. That's the that's my way out. Get rid of that. I'm taking this with me, and I'll take the bed. This is the part where I need to not die. As it, uh, as it gradually gets darker, my timing is incredible. But I'm out. I'm out of this uh, interesting jungle cave. Time to do a little more exploring. I don't know which uh, direction I was going <laughs> before. Uh, wow. Uh, I guess let's go north. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go north, and if I hit something that seems familiar, then I'll know that that was a mistake. <laughs> Gonna quick get rid of this nighttime, though. Alright, let's roll. 
I don't like the jungle because you can't see shit. Is this this isn't where I came in, is it? Is this where I is this where I came in? Kinda feels familiar. Uh yeah, that is where I came in. Cause I was trying to go around and it just kept being more more jungle. Guess I'm going guess I'm going through the jungle. Okay. I like that you get a little trail of where you've been on the map. That's cool. Oh, pigs. You're lucky I'm not hungry. Well, I guess I'll just push forward more. Did a little cave exploration earlier. Now I'm uh, now I'm in a better spot to deal with everything except for fire damage. That is, I, I might you might see me putting off the Nether segment of this a little bit until I really have all my ducks in a row. Is that? God damn, that's enormous. Please, please tell me that's not actually where I came in, though. I kind of lost a little bit. Oh, I'm just going to keep going. I don't think I was traveling in the jungle, jungle this long earlier. Why do I have this out? I don't need that out right now. I do need... Something to potentially clutch or climb with. Just had an idea here. Nope, nope, you can't make a bunch. Ooh, melon juice, yum. You can't. I thought maybe because where you can make glistening melon, you might be able to make like different kinds of glistening melon. All right. This is, uh, was I in that? If I find out I've been in that, it's... Then I'll know I definitely was right the first time. Uh... Well, let's find out if this is one that I've been in, or if this is one... Okay, it's a hay bale one. Uh, I do think I, I've been here. I, oh my god! I I I went the right way the first time, Oof. and it was just similar looking stuff that I saw. Ugh! Freaking jungle. All right, let's let's go let's go north. <laughs> uh, all right. Pair. Grapes. There's really there's a little bit of everything in terms of crops. Just just what I need is chests and chests full of 20, mil 20 million different things that all do the same thing just because I'm not sure which one will be important. Hmm. You know, I do need apples. Wish I could cut tree better. I know it said that it changed how tree cutting works, but is that really just uh, set markers on the map? Yeah, I really should. Should make use of that. It says I wasn't sure where on the map I had already been. So uh, when I saw an area that I thought looked familiar, I thought, oh, better turn back. Oh yeah, right, that's right, the fruit of the trees. Not really, not really getting any, uh, I'll hang on to that. Apricots, don't really need apricots. I just need apples. 
Unless they've changed it so that oak trees don't drop apples, and i got to make the apple tree. In which case, I might have enough for that. Watch that be how they do it. Okay, I, 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 that, that was a burp again. Did I burp? Did my character just burp? Is that just to let me know my uh, saturation is getting back to normal? Like that I've eaten and now most of it's gone? That's weird though, right? I mean, in real life at least, I would muffle it if somebody was listening. Uh, vines. I thought it was like emerald ore on the side there. This game's doing me some fake outs today. Oh, there's some trees with stuff on them. Maybe one of those is an apple tree. I don't know if I have enough apples to make an apple sapling. So, uh, those are probably peach trees. Oak. Orange. Fruit identification 101. Oh, those are looking kind of red. Nope, nope, nope. So these ones are not apples because they're peach. These ones, though. Apple crop. Nice. Nice. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. This is, this is uh, getting a little more viable now. I am going to have to get rid of some stuff here, though. But... Yeah, I'll just make it so that I can climb this tree. Getting damn apples. Can I just smack? Oh no, no, yeah, some of them, some of them break up, right? All right. So let's see what let's see what I can put into storage here. Uh, well, a whole stack of art. Well, oh, actually, I'm gonna try making some apples in a minute. I haven't really been using the glow sticks. Have not been using those. I got plenty of wood, so I'm just gonna turn this into sticks. <laughs> Seems like a good spot to do some apple experimentation. All right. So now that I have some apples, I'm going to real quick see if I can... Okay, two apples. This will be my emergency travel apples. Which I will put in my backpack. Forest, gather some fruit and make a tree from it. There we go. Now I've got a nice little stash of apple saplings. So that will be very handy in the future. Oh! Oh, it, it auto-used my uh, face apples. Interesting. That looks like apples over there. I'm going to grab those. I'm going to come back. I'm going to do some crafting, testing, eating of apples. Oh, that's an apple tree over there, too. Okay, I'm going to grab the uh, the low-hanging fruit. Oh, there's a few. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Finding apple trees is really handy. Now, never thought I'd be that excited about apples in a post-god apple crafting Minecraft world. Because uh, a lot of people were sad when they took that craft away. Alright. You got me some, get some apps. Apples. Some apple boys. It's time for some apple science. So let's see. I want to try an emerald apple, uh, an iron apple, a lapis apple. I've already done copper apple. I've done coal apple. Coal apple gives you a haste for a few minutes, which is nice. 
Um, do I have any other materials? Uh, no. Unless you can make. Whoop! <laughs> almost ate that. That would have been. Uh, that would have been bad. All right. So. Lapple. Let's make a lapple. Lapis apple. Iron apple. Emerald apple. Now, unfortunately, I do got to eat these to find out what they do, to know if they're worth keeping or not. So it's going to be somewhat wasteful here. I'm just going to hide the rest of these in my face. Oh, it's just a block. But, you know, science. Emerald apple. This is probably going to be the closest, actually closest to what a diamond apple does, but now they seem to be pretty consistently different. All right. It's going to completely fill me. It gave me Hero of the Village and a health boost. Magma Apple. Yeah, in that just instant kills me. Okay, so Hero of the Village. That would be great if I wanted to do some serious trading. Just chow down an apple and then buy the most expensive thing. I wonder if you could eat multiple to stack that. And then a, a bit of a health boost. Not the most useful, because, uh, I mean, I can't regen naturally. Anyway, there we go. And I have two extra hearts. So not bad, though. In combat, wouldn't be as useful as a golden apple, which gives you the actual absorption hearts that stick around a little longer. So let's see what iron apple does. I'm just making some room in case some of these put stuff in my inventory. <laughs> Okay, absorption resistance, and it very briefly had a heart up there. This one is pretty much a golden apple, isn't it? Absorption too. Like, um, not noticing much of a difference. Is it just different amounts or different time frames? Maybe, maybe a few more. Uh, yeah, iron curtain. Maybe. Uh, what? Why is uh? Why is that up there? I don't went on body. I don't. I don't understand. Hmm. I don't understand that armor. I might actually have to look it up to see if there's a thing you can activate or something. So yeah, it's giving me. It's giving me the the extra hearts. It's completely filled me up. Doesn't seem to have done much else but above and beyond the standard golden apple though. Absorption two. Let me just look up golden apple real quickly here. see if there's a difference in the amount it gives you okay so it gives you absorption and regeneration too oh this gives you more this gives you resistance and uh, a higher level of absorption okay so it's a stronger golden apple nice That's, uh, that just leaves the lapis apple. Now, I don't know what's actually going to happen here in a minute. Uh, I actually should wait till the resistance wears out before I do that. But I have a suspicion that it might randomly enchant my gear. We will find out for sure if that's the case pretty soon here. I mean, I might be wrong. I should guild this shovel if I'm going to be using it like this, really. Yeah, I should guild that. Or, uh... Rose gold it. Yeah, look at that. Almost fixes it right up. Ooh. Shoo, rose gold is handy. All right, so that's all clear. Let's eat this thing, shall we? So I got luck and resistance. Luck. What does, uh, luck do I'm not sure what if luck does anything in particular here uh, I'm gonna google it real quick minecraft luck makes it better makes it more likely to receive better loot from loot tables in generated structures uh, added luck Experimental, removed later. Okay, kept in the game. Uh, 
Interesting. Uh, Bedrock has unused. Bonus rolls. New way to enter a floor. Is it when I load a chest or when I open a chest? I think that's a good question. It also gave me some absorption, other or resistance, goody, good stuff like that. Okay, well, I have 12 apples on my face. That'll be that'll be handy. I'm going to attack of opportunity any apple trees that come across along the way. And now I have a good idea of what the various various apples that I've been able to make so far do. Dang. This inventory is out of control. I should cook or get rid of that. Yeah, I'll keep that here so remember to cook it. This is interesting, though. And there's some apple trees. What happens if I just cut the tree down? Like, if I'm not coming back here ever... Okay, it drops some, it drops some apples. Nice. Drops some regular trees. So if I'm if I'm in an area that I really want to settle down, I'll plant some and harvest them sustainably. But I would be surprised if I ever find myself back here again. That's not even an apple tree. That's a peach tree. Get out of here. Yeah, I see that. So not beneficial maybe for fishing, but... Uh, Depending on exactly how the mechanic works, might be useful for looting chests. Not sure, again, when that is calculated. Is this more jungle? Good god, that is actually more jungle. There's so much jungle. Okay, okay, I'm gonna sort of swim around it then. I have this nice little path of water. Do a little bit of hydration in real life as well as in game. We we let's see. Yeah, that's yeah, that, that, that's pretty much where I want to be going. Guess when the chest is generated. I mean, that would that would definitely make sense. Don't know how to really uh, benefit from that though, where it's such a short-lived, uh, you know, such a short-lived effect. I have some hydration. Oh, mushrooms! That's why. That makes sense. I'm actually just gonna pick up something for the road here. This will definitely come in handy later on if I ever decide I really really wanna how would that work on a multiplayer server that is a good question I gotta wonder if maybe in terms of loot tables it might not be chess, maybe it's mob drop tables. Like maybe it makes it more likely for the iron to drop from a zombie sort of thing. I don't really need... Ah, uh, yeah, dark oak. Give me them saps. That's what I was looking for. Is that... Cashew. Okay. I'd have to uh, experiment with luck a little off stream to sort of figure out how that works. Because, I mean, it was a feature that they scrapped kind of early on. So, obviously, it might not be fully fleshed out, but then again, where the mod uses it as a thing, they might have finished it. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to grab that. Oh, yeah. Probably could. Make an 
infinite luck uh, potion or something. Okay. Dream Warp Spellbook. I gotta, I gotta see what this one says. I'm also taking that lighter. Oh, boy. That's the good stuff. Thundering. I'm gonna take that. I'm just gonna need a minute to sort myself a little bit. Also, before I do something real dumb... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd forgotten that that would kill me. Alright, so two iron axes. Uh, inventory. Okay, I did grab the iron ones. Wait, B. That's the button. You and you. I need that out of storage. Let's see what the dream... Teleport home to escape even the most awkward of dinner parties. RLR. I don't understand quite how that works. Okay. Gonna have to look into that. Do I need something in my hand? Like I tried right clifting. Oh no, I did L... Okay, no. Maybe. Nope, nope, nope. That's got to be out of my hand. And I... Okay, give me a second. I'm going to slap this down because I'm going to rose gold... I was going to rose gold something. Heat protection. Now, ah, thundering axe, right. Yeah, let's, uh, let's rose gold this thundering axe. Thundering one, nine attack power. That's comparable to these. Can you, so you can't put anything on there. You can't put anything on there. I think those might still function as normal. What I'm going to do is stick these two axes together. And I'm going to stash the axe for now, I think. And I'm going to main this rose gold one. Right, left, right. Yeah, I was trying right click, left click, right click to see what it would do. I might hang on to that for now, just to see if that pans out into being anything. It's definitely become clear that I need a bigger than the gilded backpack, but that involves diamonds and emeralds. And that's not going to be easy to come by. Wait a minute. That's the same speed. I do want to see, however... This might, take, this might take a minute or two. I want to see if I can mine it and it'll actually drop. Or I'm using a different pickaxe. Yeah. Maybe I needed to find a wizard dance pad to do these spells. Da -da -da. Soon. Nope. Okay. So, at the very least, it might be iron level. And, well, there is one way to find out. A little bit of a wasteful... Did it... Is it up there? Yeah, okay, it dropped. So, comparable... So, so I think this is iron level. I'll eventually have to test that with a diamond, but that ain't bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, taking that. Uh, don't really need that uh, heat heat protection I don't think it I don't think it's what I want it to be now do we remember what direction I was going north yeah oh that's something can can I just teleport yo can I can I teleport Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've played mods that have done that, too. This one doesn't seem to. Um. Okay. I'm gonna... Oh, my God! I can just teleport! What? Well, I found some pretty good gear in one of these last time I was here. 
Gonna need to whip up a few more torches to neutralize the spawners. And I have a crap ton of crap. Oh, I'm just going to put these in my face. What am I doing tying up a slot like that? Well, I can teleport. That's a village. Jeez, I can just go around hitting... Uh... Oh, that's another... That I think that's the same one. Go around hitting uh, places of interest. That, uh... Interesting that they would give me that. Let's find the stairs. Um... Are those the stick? Oh no, it's literally right here. Yeah, neutralize that. And then I will loot my way down. Yes. And I can't do can't do that. Did it? Nice. Neutralize that. Neutralize that. Boom. Those would have been fun to fight. Yeah, um, no, it's, um, when I look at spots on the map, I can right click and teleport here is an option. That uh, might be a little cheaty. But they just baked that into the thing. I'm probably gonna... I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how I feel about it after I've used it a little, I guess. What? Wait. Oh, it just shows me the loot of the last chest I looked in. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I think I'm in good shape for rope. What's my string situation? Yeah, I'm gonna get more string. Diamond glow stick. Conjuration essence. Dream Warp, Arcane, Enchant, Fire Prot, uh, I need Fire Neutralization, not Fire Prot, just because, uh, <laughs> I mean, Fire Prot will lessen it, but it won't keep me from, uh, won't keep me from dying. Okay, hey, glad you had a good nap, presumably a good nap, hopefully it wasn't a crappy one. Makes you feel worse bef than before you head the nap. Okay, so I guess I'll work my way down here and see what's worth keeping. I don't think any of these have anything that I want to go down the rabbit hole of right now. Another one of these enchanty boys, though. And uh, that is kind of promising. I might... Oh, yeah, I was gonna. I was going to see if I could replace that chest piece. Cowardice? I don't know what cowardice is to know if I want it, but it doesn't sound like something I want. Uh. Ooh, yeah, gonna get me some EXP, though. Why would, why would I want cowardice? Um, okay, I'm gonna look this up because I try not to, but how am I gonna know what this one does? Cowardice enchantment. Causes weapons to do more damage while at full health. Oh. Interesting. Alright. I don't know if I want it, though. Or if I don't want that to be the one that goes on that piece of armor, I guess. Because I'm trying to make that armor good. Okay. I'm going to move that. Yeah, look at that. See, it uh, starts feeding the thing, which should mean I get a different selection. Coward critical hit. Still, still cowardice, huh? All right.
I'm going to replace some of these empty boys with the full ones. I am... This is... This is inventory situation is kind of bad. All right. Let's make... Let's fill up on some stuff. Get rid of the rest. I don't see a benefit to carrying around one emerald when I can grind out more later. Especially since I have the job block to do that. Soon running out of these. Um, yeah, yeah, snowball pants. That's why I'm keeping them. This is a lot. So death barter. Actually, I'm going to figure out what death barter is. Death barter. Oh. Okay. It revives the player upon death in exchange for emeralds. It costs a lot for every oh higher tiers give you uh more interesting okay we revive from death and the cost of at the cost of emeralds i see so level one is a hundred that that's way too many emeralds to uh to be carrying around <clears throat> This magic missile. I'll hang on. Death Varder three. That's actually that's actually the best one. That's fifty emeralds to come back to life. I think I gotta keep that. And a few stacks of emeralds I'll grind out later. Uh, don't need the birch logs anymore. I'm trying to do something with my inventory here. It's getting. Uh, I'll put that in there for now. Getting a little out of hand. I can always get redstone later. So what I am going to do here... Do I have... No, I don't. Is there on this floor? No. Okay. Going to do a crafting table up. Actually, I'm going to need that wood that I just threw away. Realizing. I'm not going to need all of it, though. Like, I just need... I shouldn't have put it all in one pile. But I am going to need wood. So yeah, let's let's do that. Okay. So crafting table. This is step one. Step two is I'm gonna soup this up a little more. Actually I'm gonna make sure that I'm not screwing myself. Oh oh yeah, right, it's already enchanted. Efficiency three. Three enchantment levels. Uh needs level three to unlock. I think, yeah. No, that's a level 11 enchantment. Okay. So I'm not too far out from hitting the level of enchantments that uh, I can't do right now. Unless I go and break the rest of those spawners. But I will break these guys because I don't... What am I getting out of this? Holy cow. Okay, telekinetic shock, solar strike, lunge. I guess I'll... All right, that's achievement city. <laughs> heal, heal spell book. Oh, 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 oh. If I can figure out how to use this. RLL, heal wounds quickly, useful when in a pinch. That would uh, that would deal with my regeneration issue. Crap. So hard with the inventory. Ah, uh, crap. I mean, obviously, I don't need these guys. Arcane barrier, magic missile, arcane telekinetic. Do do do. Do if I'm if I'm going around, didn't I get rid of magic missile originally? Like I don't. Ooh, yes, I want that on an axe. Uh, yeah, I don't need to know magic missile, even though it's really really useful in D and D. You know, you don't have to worry about it missing. All right, you know what? If there's if there's achievements to be had. It's got to be for stuff that I already... Magic Missile, Arcane Barrier. Might not be anything new at this point. Uh, yeah. 
Solar Strike, Telekinetic Heal, Arcane. I'm keeping the Heal spell because that's potentially going to be really handy. But since I've uh, sort of solved that brain teaser. Okay, so Rose Gold doesn't break like regular gold. Which is interesting. And this is why I needed all that wood. All right. So right now, I'll add one. And I'll try to enchant something. Fortune 2, chop 15. Yeah, that, that's as good. That's as good as that's getting right there. Like, I'm not doing better than 15. I should, however. Yeah, I should make more bookshelves while I've got it. I mean, I've got a whole ass stack of books. Yeah. I'll turn it all into bookshelves. That'll be, that'll come in handy later. The 34 bookshelves. That sh I'm going to make a few more while I'm here. Because I have so much wood in my inventory right now. Oh, wait. I ran out of uh, wood. There we go. That's a beauty. 11 more bookshelves. And if I really need books, I can break the books back out of the bookshelves. There's no biggie. There we go. There we go. That'll have to turn into something soon to get it out of my inventory. And then... I am going to see what I can enchant here. Where, it, where is it? Yeah, there we go. Emerald gear chest plate. Unbreaking 3, I think, is going to give me the best results. Thorns 1, fire prot 3, unbreaking 3. I stand corrected. I got screwed. I got screwed. Because uh, this is prot 2. Oh, unbreaking 3 is better. Uh, I'll revisit this later when I've got more EXP in a grinder. To grind things. Well, let's, uh, let's see what I can get on my pants. Rush down. Prot 2. Rampaging. Prot 2. Just pro just straight up pro two, no bonus. I don't know what rush down is either, but uh, let's see if I can get something feather, like say feather falling four, anima condo. Con uh, well, I'm gonna take the uh, the feather falling four. God damn, that's a good find. <laughs> that's that's gonna come in real handy. I can always make extra sets and smush them together with an anvil eventually. All right, nice. Actually, you know what? I'm carrying lots of wood. I don't... Yeah, now I'll have a couple of them. All right. This goes back up in there. This is on deck for next food. And yeah. All right. Well, I'm definitely busting all those spawners on my way down. Because... Need daddy XP. Oh yeah, and I'm continuing to loot the place too. Right, I forgot about that part. Uh, should take the pork chops. Do I have raw beef? I don't have raw beef. I'm not taking raw beef if I don't have raw beef already. Just an extra thing that does the exact same thing as the other ones in my inventory. And since there is a cup of para smokers, I will cook the raw pork chop. I will cook the raw mutton. And get all that inventory sorted. Yeah, look at look, the steak's gonna go on forever. I definitely don't have raw beef here. I have a single leather, though, for some reason. I have steak, even though I uh, already had a spot sorted out for the steak. Well, that makes my life a little easier. Yeah, 
It's getting dark out. Also, IRL, it's already gotten dark out. So far, I am actually really liking this mod pack. It's brought a lot of interesting stuff to the table. Uh, lunch spell. Of course it is the lunch spell. I don't need that. I'll put that back. So it hasn't brought anything that I'm like, ugh, why did they do that? It's brought a lot of cool stuff. Cauldron water. I can't just plunge my face in it and drink it out of the cauldron. I should take my coal, though. Alright. Yeah. Should I, make, uh, should I make a sword? Now I'll just use that for block block clutching and such. Utility slot. That's sneaky, though. You could hide stuff in there. Doesn't look like they have opted to do that, but you could hide stuff in there. Uh, do I have a full stack of rope? Uh, I'll take the glow sticks. I'll take the bones for later when I want to grow apple trees. Yeah, and I'm definitely doing that. Get some levels up. I'm going to need to get all the levels I can for... Uh... Oh, you were out barbecuing. Nice. Yeah, it's always barbecue season as long as it's not pouring rain. And even then, if you got an overhang, maybe you're still good. This is weird. There's like just a mirror maze. Or a glass maze. No mirrors. I hear spiders. Are they in so indoor spiders or outdoor spiders? Kind of sounds like they're outdoors, but they want to be indoors. Ooh. Chain reaction. Stop showing me cool and interesting stuff that I got to take game. Oh, my God. Anima conduit. Uh... I'm going to look. A lot of good details. Uh, he, upon absorbing a soul. Uh, what? What? Maybe, maybe, maybe not anima conduit. Because what? <laughs> but chain reaction. I'll see what uh, chain reaction is. Powerful. Ooh, okay. Grants a chance to spawn five arrows shot in different directions after shooting a mob. That's weird, but also I could see that being useful. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'll play with chain reaction. Ooh, yeah, more iron, because I'm not, I don't have a lot, of, uh, another name tag. Watch, watch, they're, watch they be just common, and I'm wasting all kinds of space on this. What else? Were there any other barrels in here? Was that the only barrel? I'm not, I think that might be the only barrel. Backpacks and store in inventory. I have... Oh! Oh, yeah! I wonder if you can backpack in a backpack. Uh, let me see if there is actually a bag of holding in this, though. There is not. Bag of souls. I'm not messing around with, uh, with that. I'm gonna see yeah, if I can backpack a backpack, though. Oh! Be Ooh, okay. That, that's a good. That's a good find. There were more uh, of those. Just gonna break a few of these just to see if there's any randomly hidden. Oh, smooth stone. I thought for a moment, are these iron blocks? <laughs> Would have kicked myself for missing all the iron blocks at the last one. I'm definitely going to be playing this mod pack again. I mean, first of all, I haven't beaten the game yet, but also it's really interesting. And I am just running out of space here. So I am going to have to do something about this backpack situation soon. 
try sack. Okay. Uh, squid chest plates. Uh, yeah, nothing. Oh my god. Yeah, of course, sacks. Okay. Well, that, um... That was profitable. Actually got diamond, which was nice. A whole one. Which is, what, four short of the next upgrade slot for my backpack? Alright. Let's see. So there's that that I've checked out. There's a village, and there's this. This is... What was that? Okay, let's uh, let's see what just happened there. I mean, that's the wizard tower I was just in. I saw something very briefly on the map there. Not sure if it's anything special. Like maybe there's a shiny Pokemon here or something. Is it just an area? I mean, I... I saw it happen. Might have just been a uh, map glitch or something. There's that village I was looking at. I'm definitely going to check that out. Huh. All right. Well, let's check this out, which was something I was originally going to take a peek into. We'll know this is serious if I get an achievement for going in it. I am, yeah, I'm thinking of visiting that one. I don't have the leather right now, so I'd have to cut down some cows, but I definitely want to experiment with that one. So that will be, as soon as I find the entrance to whatever this is, that will be something I definitely look into doing. What the heck is this? Is it a temple? A barracks? Um, this is quite the struct. The structure, really? Uh, that's not... That can't be the entrance. That would be so... I mean, spawning could do that, I guess. That's huge. Oh, yeah, I got fall... All right! I hear lava. Let's see. Get some blocks in case I get a panic. I think I'll... Oh! Of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh my god. Uh, like, what the, the... Well, I'm good on arrows. Whoop. That wasn't supposed to... Yeah, it's just chock full of arrows. Christ. Well, now I... Uh, now I know how to get arrows, eh? Skeleton spawner. So yeah, this is definitely meant to be a thing I fight my way through. What? What is this? Oh, that I don't want to fuck around with. Those spiders will wreck me. Why? Unless they're the regular kind, then they might not be so bad. <laughs> that creeper is a problem, though. Cripes. All I can do is try to keep the mobs from spawning. Ooh, treasure chest. Oh, <clears throat> this is a little parkour. <laughs> I swear I'm better at this than that. Although that's a little cheaty. <gasps> yeah! Yeah, I'm kind of getting that feeling, actually. What am I supposed to... I don't need 
most of this. I don't know what these are good for. So let's see. It's 13. Cat. I know these songs. All right. Whew. Oh, you can stack those. Good. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to take this opportunity to get a little healing on. But yeah, I think, uh, I mean, this, this mod is specific. Ooh! It is the 1.18 version, but at the same point, like, they've clearly done previous versions with this mod pack. Oh, I understand now why I can't place things on these. I was like, how did they do that? But it's... Uh... Oh! <laughs> did I just strike her with lightning? Uh, now we know what this axe does. That's an... Oh. Quite a bit of poison I picked up. Night vision, dolphin. Oh, that's why. Oh my god. So that's what being underwater gives me. A lot of stuff. I just gotta wait out the poison. Thundering axe, yeah. That's the strat right there for getting out of that stuff alive. That's a lot of gold blocks. Uh, this is some bastion level. This is. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not going to finish this structure on stream today. Because I thought I had a main path, so I went to check out the side path first. And, uh, well, this is what the side path's got going on. I don't like what's going on with that. Oh! Ah! Okay. Oh, I neutralized. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> ah, neat. There's a, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on in here. There's multiple side paths to go to. Like, oh, oh man. Uh, I hear zombies, but uh, I don't care about them. God damn, that is some gold. Yeah, that's too much to... I thought I could condense it all into a stack, but that is too much to stack. That's gonna be real handy when it comes time to go trading. Oh yeah, I am looking forward to all the stuff. Actually, I can go right into the nether, find piglins, and get some fire res. That's gonna be a next stream strat, but uh, that is actually big. It's huge. Oh my god, there's a god apple! Oh, let's go. New recipe unlocked. How has... Uh, how has that unlocked a new recipe? What what new recipe did that unlock? I got a god apple, though. <laughs> I got a god apple. Well, you know what? I'm not saving these nuggets anymore, then. I'm just going to stash that there. I don't need to save up nuggets to make an ingot because I have them. Uh, this is going to be a good spot to end stream today. I'm going to go looking for someone to raid. So, Notch Apple, if you are OG. Yeah, Notch Apple, God Apple sort of thing. Uh, you used to be able to... I think that function is still in it if he ever gives the opportunity. Like, I think still if you kill Notch in PvP... In Minecraft, he still drops one. But uh, I can't imagine that comes up as often anymore. Let me see. Who to raid? Who to raid? And, well, Wednesday, I am not entirely sure what I was... Do I do specific stuff on Wednesdays? I'm. Let me just take a quick look at my uh, stream schedule here. Content. Uh... Settings, channel, schedule. 
Oh yeah, I was did last time on Wednesday. I was doing the randomizer challenge. Oh, we could do something like that again. A fun, a fun challenge of some sort. If we have some people and a pack ready to go, like just some uh, plug-in sort of thing. Or I might actually continue doing this mod pack. This mod pack's actually kind of really fun. Uh, that said, you know, depending on who in the Discord is available for stuff, we could put something together that would be fun for all of us, or headbanging for all of us in the case of the randomizer challenge. So we'll, we'll see what Wednesday brings, and Friday's probably going to be continuing Hardcore Adventures. I'm going to start putting it in the schedule. We are going to be doing weekly Saturday events, so these will be competitions, that sort of thing. I plan on keeping track of winners, so basically certain things like getting first place, second place, third place, participating. You'll get awarded a certain amount of points, and through the course of several challenges, it's going to build up to a grand winner in a final challenge, and then that person's going to win something something really cool. So I have in mind what I want to what I want to give away, a couple things I want to give away for that. But, uh, I'm going to wait to keep that one under wraps for now. But, uh, yeah, if you are actively watching, I would say get in the Discord. If you're not already there, just going to drop the Discord link. That's how you get the first first heads up on what events are happening, when they're happening, how you can get involved. Ah, oh, yeah, evenings. I am thinking that, too. I'm thinking of doing one of my three weekly uh, streams at least a couple hours later into the evening. Just to make some different availability, even though this time slot has been really convenient for me. I can't give away a headset. Actually, yeah, I might look at that too. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Because, I mean, I could buy one of the headsets like the one I'm wearing. I love this headset. That's actually, I'm using the, this microphone and I find the quality is pretty good. But, but there's lots of prize options eventually, especially as I get to be a bigger streamer and start picking up things like sponsorships or consistent ad revenue. I want to turn pretty much anything that I don't need to live off of from that into prizes for people. So that's ultimately my goal with doing this sort of thing. I want to do like Mr. Beast Gaming, just... Gaming, gaming. Holy crap. Mr. Silly making it rain. Gear tier five, tier one subs for folks who have looked at the uh, details. Tier one is the Caillou tier. Tier two is, let me, let me see if I remember. I know one of them goes, oh yeah, tier two, I think is Krillin tier. Tier three is Saitama tier. So, you know, um, Keep into a consistent bald character theme on that one. Two out of the three of them are ones that I've cosplayed. So let's find. Uh, let's see who's on who's on Minecrafting right now. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick peek because I see a small streamer doing some Minecraft. Mr. Silly making new rank tier five subs. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Speed running for sub 25. I don't know what RSG stands for. So I'm going to take a look and see if I can find that out at a glance. Give me a moment here. I'm going to turn off. You folks are probably hearing my notifications echo back at you. I'm going to turn that input off for a moment just because I also want to hear this person's stream. See if I can get a quick feel of, you know, if you folks will enjoy this sort of thing. Let's see. Because it looks like they're a Minecraft speedrunner. Might be doing 1.16.5. 1.16.1, 1 .1 actually. Speedrunning. Full-time YouTuber streamer. Hermitcraft. Uh, all right. You know what? I'm just going gonna, gonna to raid this person. They they, they look interesting. They're, if you want to watch Minecraft speedruns and see all the stuff that I do wrong done right... I'm afraid they've they're going for sub 25. That's I mean I know Minecraft speedruns have gotten nuts, but you know what? Sub 25 to beat Minecraft is nuts. That's still really impressive. So let's read Cubfan 135. Cubfan 135. All right. 
Of course, hit me up in the Discord. Lots of fun stuff going to go on there, giveaways and stuff. Sometimes I just randomly give people game keys from Steam, like I did that on my on my uh, followers there Christmas time. I'll get a nice Santa sack of Steam keys. All right, let's let's give Cub Fan 135 a raid, and I will catch you folks on Wednesday.